Uh, welcome to episode four of Strange Turns, the Outsiders campaign. Uh, my name is Matt Cook. I'm the dungeon master for this campaign. I am a writer. I live in LA. Um, and I'm excited to get into this next episode. So let's go around the table and introduce, uh, you know, all the other players. Woo! Hey, I'm <laughs> Shannon Coffey. I'm playing Chef Zeif. Um, I'm an actor, comedian, director, writer, and a co-host of a podcast called I Keep Hearing, which, you know, we probably have already heard about, but I co-host with somebody else at this table. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Ali Gertz. I'm a musician and writer, and uh, my character is Resnan, uh, who is not a thief. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm Chris De La Cruz, comedian, but most importantly, Guntar Great. Guntar <laughs> the Great. Oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> fan favorite, Guntar the Great. Fan favorite, Guntar the Great. Uh, hi, I'm Elise Brando. I am a novelist, writer, and I play Lucy Gunn, the Great Hi, I'm Elise Brando. I am an actor, writer, and an artist. Uh, I play Diana Varco. Um, she's a cool rich girl, so that's how you know this is a fantasy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love it. We love it. That's what Matt said, and I'm taking it from him. I was just thinking, I was like, I gotta stop making that joke. You but... make that joke all the time about me. I'm like, hey, I don't know what it's like to be rich, but hey, I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's some cool rich people. It's, yeah. I, don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't know. Infinite diversity and infinite combination. So you know. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Anyway, um, I love you for watching. And I love all these people here, and I'm trying my best. Who do you love the most? That's <laughs> a secret. I'll tell it to you. Oh my gosh, that's a great fan favorite. No, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I'm Rob Michael Hugel. I'm a billionaire, so you've all been offending me all this time. Uh, I play Helmer the Whisperer. And uh, I'm an actor and comedian, and I also co-host a podcast called I Keep Hearing with another person at this table. Can you remember who it was? I think it was <laughs> No, I'm not Guntar the Great fan favorite. Yeah. Should I introduce myself? Yeah, introduce yourself. Okay, yeah. cool. Hello, my <laughs> name is... Too. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> my name is Lorraine de Graffenwright. Um, I'm a writer, comedy person, joke writer, animation writer, whatever. Um, and I'm playing a new character that I'm really We're excited gonna... for her to be here. Ooh. You're gonna meet her later. Yeah. None of us have met her yet. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Well, all right. Um, yeah, I think should we, this is probably going to be, we're going to, we're doing a different format. So if you're watching this, you're watching this on a Tuesday, I think. Yeah. Um, so you're going to watch part one and then part two will come out later. That's going to be the new format. Should be cool. Should be more exciting. We can get more episodes out. Um, and yeah, I think part two will be Zeislev's episode. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm heading out. Yeah. So I'm introducing a new character to the universe. <laughs> this um, one. Yeah. Due date. You know, two weeks from the day we're recording this. So. Oh my gosh. You know. Um. Yeah. yeah. But we'll oh. see. Um. So we still have like an episode and, and a half, or episode, you know, two episodes with my character. Yeah. Where hopefully I can. You know, eat some human flesh, do something fun, grope oh. more monster genitals because I think that's what the show really needed, mm -hmm. and that's what I brought. So hopefully, you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah. yeah, stay yeah. tuned. Oh, stay um, tuned. great. Uh, so, uh, we'll we'll let's start the the uh, show. Welcome back. Last time on Outsiders, uh, the group had discovered that Angus, Diana Varco's assistant, was being held prisoner by the security chief Pelvo um, aboard the Star Tracer. Chief Pelvo had sort of assumed control of wh the people who were left. Um, the gang reached the top of the ship where they encountered, they, the, the ship was sort of torn open. Um, 
you guys discovered Captain Logan's was still there, alive, hiding out in this, with the remains of this cafe, um, surviving on biscotti and oat milk. Uh, <laughs> Into his favorite. <laughs> until she was uh, attacked by this uh, stalker cat beast that you guys had seen uh, traces of while ascending the, the wreckage of the Star Tracer. Um, she was dragged away. You guys found, uh, well, you found Kurt rifling through the coat of Keith, who was the translator, and you found rest in peace. Yeah, but he had a box of or a pillbox of MX99 capsules mm -hmm. that Kurt had taken. Um, yeah, I forget who. Nice, perhaps <laughs> uh, was it? It feels like Resnan. Was it Resnan that found him? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of caught Keith, Kurt red-handed, split up the MX99 capsule, so you guys have those. Um, also, Resonance spotted a structure that was further inland on the island. Um, and then later, after uh, kind of encountering the rest of the crew that had been sort of roped into uh, Pelvo's uh, group, uh, specifically Carrington, who was the major D at the, the, the restaurant, and who you we're going to chop the, fing the pinky off of. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you all got past that, met with uh, Chief Pelvo. Excuse me, she offered a deal, uh, basically, that uh, if you deal with the beast that was in the lower deck sea, she would trade Angus and he could go free. And you guys decided not to take that deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a choice we did make. We yeah. went yeah. rogue. We went metal. We yeah, there was very a clear choice. We all agreed on exactly what we were doing. And nope. It was not confusing at all. And it was not messy <laughs> at all. And we did it just straight ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. That's how life works. Mm -hmm. uh, some rests were attempted, but no one really got a full six hours of sleep. I think you guys got some short rests in, but not a full long rest. Uh, there was a daring rescue. Some swashbuckling was attempted. Things uh, went awry. Never say that word. That I, I rings some that bells for some people, and it I doesn't. Love that word. Oh, I'm I'm definitely gonna say that word again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what power it holds now. Nothing uh, that inspires a group split like that word. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, you all were able to successfully break Angus out of his uh, captivity. Uh, and then kind of things went sideways. I know Guntara was definitely worried about the plan, specifically what was the end game of the plan, mm -hmm. um, yep. which became apparent as you all reached the top of, or not the top, you guys reached a, a level of the ship that was very difficult to climb back down from, and then it would have been a slow climb back down, and you were being pursued uh, by Pelvo and a lot of her uh, goons, essentially, at this point. Uh, which is at which, at which point, um, in a desperate leap of faith, everyone decided to trust Kurt. Everyone linked hands, popped a capsule in his mouth. Yeah, shoved it in his mouth. Yeah, and you all jumped off the edge of the wreckage of the Star Tracer, and you are now plummeting <laughs> through the mists as the suns are rising over the beach. Uh, Checks out. So uh, that's what picking like up Whoa. is mid air. We're so sloppy. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so we're mid air now? Resonan loves everything that went down and thinks it went exactly as planned. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> shocked that anyone doesn't feel like way. perfection. And this wasn't it. Are we having this fight in mid air? Yes. I think so. <laughs> okay, can I just say, mm -hmm. I think that is a very good example of me pushing people to do things that they're not ready to do. Oh, and I've not. I've not gotten heart die yet. Wow. <laughs> she literally uh, doesn't die. I literally pushed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. True. <laughs> wow. Is that that's wow. A, a drive or a downfall? It's a downfall. So okay. it's a negative. All right. Uh, fair. It's fair. fair thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Strong start. But you guys are all just <laughs> falling uh, midair. How fast are we falling? Uh, so it, it's happening very quickly. Uh, <laughs> maybe the, maybe the, conversa if the conversation is happening. It's happening very quickly. Uh, but as you're kind of falling, there's a point where Kurt says something, uh, like some kind of incantation that you all have never heard before. Okay, uh, this maybe you've heard it from, from training. <laughs> Uh, and his eyes flash and poof, gravity sort of shifts around you and you all start just kind of like slowly descending at like a safe speed down through this mist. Okay. 
Is this not the first time you've done this, Kurt? Because you act like you don't know what's going on, but you just did some like blah 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 thing. <laughs> well, uh, it's just sort of like uh, I'm trying to focus, but. I, I had some basic training. I just didn't have any access ah, to the class. Let's not distract him while he's letting what? us fall down gently. <laughs> training in using Vitalic Current to create effects like this. Oh, okay. Uh, this again. Let's talk about it when we get to the ground. Uh, well, I am not feeling patient right now. <laughs> Angus, it's okay. <gasps> <laughs> he's just, he's like, he looks like, he looks like very exhausted. Yes. But also look a little panicky now, just like falling and like you can you can almost see his like heart racing and like blood pumping in his veins. Uh uh Heading towards the ground, you are heading down. Uh below you, I don't know if you guys remember, but these rock spires are jutting out of the water. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I grab a rope. <laughs> <laughs> and I well, to the moon. <laughs> you're just for clarity, you're not gonna like it's not uh damage or anything, it's just water that you're gonna be landing into unless you wanna try to like, I don't know, Mario jump your way over to land, which will be really difficult, especially with like eight people. Um so So we swim. If that's if you guys are not gonna try anything on the way down. You have kind of a moment here. Can we like open rope. our backpacks and Mary Poppins? <laughs> yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I don't so I have a tarp. Do I have a tarp? Well, the, the, this, the, this, the rate of descent is, is safe. Okay. So it's it's more a question of do you want to land in the water or are you guys going to try to like land in the rocks? How could we? No, we'll land in the water. I, I believe water is softer than rocks. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Then yeah. we're going to soft land. Yeah. Okay. There's no way that we land exactly on the uh, man made structure that I saw earlier, is there? That was, very, that was very far. Oh. Yeah. I am aiming towards it. <laughs> that changes things. <laughs> I am like I'm willing my body. way towards shore so it's shallow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think that there's a way to make that happen. I think it's more just like intention with this. Uh, can we can we like land on Kurt? Like we all stand on his body? Yeah, I would on love the water? to use. Yeah, we uh, we boogie board with him. Uh, okay, I think if you're, I, you know what, for that, you can try an acrobatics check. Uh, oh we'll God. see. It's, I'll do it. Okay, everybody who wants to try to stop on yeah, Kurt, sure. give me an acrobatics check. Mm. I just hate this guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, he has been a good dude. Oh, 19 just for me. Your asses, Four. Yeah. Uh, I got 16. Did you add your things? 16? That's a negative for strength and athletics. Acrobatics. It's just 30. Oh, sorry, plus two. Sorry, six. Sorry. No, oh, no, don't be sorry. You got a 16? Yeah. And then uh, Helmer? Um, 18. Okay. Uh, so I'm Helmer. Hell oh, yeah. so yeah, Helmer, <laughs> Zyph, and Resin, all of you sort of like uh, crawl up him like crabs at the very end. And just kind of like push him down the water. You all kind of like land safely, but it's more you're just like climbing up. You still end up in the water. You just, he just, you just kind of push him down the three of you like into it. Just like, whoop, whoop, and he just gets uh, mm -hmm. sort of uh, submerged. It's a sinus wash. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, you all are swimming. I just, just this is just for narrative. You guys are going to be able to make it to shore, but everybody, give me an athletics check just to see how you do swimming across here. Okay, thank God. Um, Eleven. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Fourteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. 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 Um, Olympics coming to LA. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, most of you are, are swimming totally fine, doing a uh, decent job. Guitar just smokes you. Like, <laughs> just wait up. <laughs> like Aquamaning through this. He's punching um, the water and it's it's yeah. like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zyth is struggling. Uh, uh, makes it to shore, but you swallow a little bit of seawater on the way. And right. while you guys are swimming there, you can feel like kelp beds kind of like uh, swimming through that. You can feel like some kinds of sea creatures in the water with you. Most of them didn't feel super big, but some of them felt 
not like just fish. Mm -hmm. um, and Who's then tickling me? <laughs> Who's tickling my toes? Oh, that's me. Oh, Why did you take your shoes off? Val, I didn't want him to get soggy. <laughs> Just like tied around. <laughs> uh, and the waves are kind of tossing you about a little bit. And then and Angus looks really exhausted from that. Like he almost doesn't make it. Um, I pull. Uh, I'm I'm there protecting with Angus. Yeah. I'm making sure I'm I'm at Angus's pace and I'm got him. Yeah. At, at the end, he's kind of like struggling. You have to kind of like wade back in and yeah. grab his hand and kind of yeah. walk him up to yeah. the shore. Team, leave no one behind over there. <laughs> Diana, your heart is so big. I mean, people die every day. I, I would just leave that little guy. But... That's why my hair is so big too. Mm. <laughs> it's Dolly Parton business. <laughs> I'm a fun rich girl like Dolly. Um. So I will say this, because you guys didn't really get any sleep, you just fell through this thing, just swam to shore. I do need everybody to make a constitution saving throw. And this is to risk, this is to try to um, avoid becoming exhausted. I just want to say that I so tried to actually awesome. rest. Great. I, know, I know. And you, everybody was like, we're resting. And I was like, I don't think we're resting enough. <laughs> For clarity, you need uh, at least eight hours of like light activity to get to avoid exhaustion, to avoid risking exhaustion. Okay. 13. <clears throat> Success. 11. Success. Nice. Do we add anything Ten. to it? Uh, that is barely a success. Yes. Spoontar. 11. Success. 14. Success. Okay. <clears throat> Angus did not succeed. I pre rolled um, him. Um, oh. He was already exhausted, to be fair. Um, He's captive. Eight once a day. Terrible. Yeah, he was, was, he's, not, he's not treated well. So that's good. Uh, you guys, none of you guys have any levels of exhaustion, but just know that the longer you go without taking a long rest, the more you risk that. Um, so we could potentially take a long rest right now. Probably you, when we're on land. You are. You we're are on land. land. So, oh, yeah. okay. You guys have reached okay. this. Uh, that's a good point. I should. I should explain that. Um, you guys get to the these like rocky shores where you were before. Um, this is sort of, I think, the end of like episode two, part one or something. Right. So, um, this is where you left Dazzle. Yes. Dazzle? Where's the cat? Dazzle. There is no sign of them um, that you can detect. Like, they're not there on the beach. Look for tracks. Give me a survival check. Ooh, plus four, and then plus three. So that's seven and five. Twelve. Twelve? Um, yeah. So... You can see there's a little bit of disturbances here, like some rocks have been kind of moved around. Um, none of their gear, well, none of their main gear, like their armor is not here, their crossbow's not here, their backpack's not here. Um, uh, you do find their compass is, is here, um, which I will have here. So you, you do find that just kind of like left on the rock. Um, and it was broken they, anyway. Well, was it pointing in any direction specifically? Maybe they left us a clue. It would spin. It didn't have a. It didn't have a direction. When you when you do see it, when if you say that, when you see it, it is pointing towards the jungle. The arrow. Mm. Do, do I have an idea of where the structure is relative to um, the geography of the place now? I think. Give me a. Either survival or investigation, because you're trying to like assemble this in your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm actually gonna. Yes. Okay. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you kind of have like a general bearing of like looking up at the wreckage of the Star Tracer, kind of where you are now, and you can sort of triangulate which direction to head. And with a 19, you can probably assume it's going to take about a day okay. to travel to get there. And is it pointing in the same direction that the compass is going? Pretty close. Okay. Um, I explained that to the crew. Thank like, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, there's, a ch there's like a chance that maybe like they ended up like in that building. Maybe we should like try and go check it out. Any other thoughts? Any other... I think we should yeah. sleep. It's morning. Well, last time I tried to sleep, there was a bunch of people. They kept talking. You that started singing. Beautiful yeah. elven yeah. persons uh, played their their. Uh, no, I'm talking about the so, one with the so, very so very nice 
abs. The pop star. The pop star. Oh, I thought they were kind of empty. empty. Yeah. Well, they I, were, I was searching. Was, Guntar was attracted. I saw you were searching. You kept longingly looking at them in a and way that was very... And they opened their mouth when they weren't singing. Well. Yeah. Anyways, I did not sleep that night because of that Elvin's beautiful music. So I would like to nap right here. Looking around, the, the it's the beach you guys landed on was sort of like a wet sand kind of softer beach. This is like mostly large rocks. <laughs> We've been to like that kind of shore. It would be very difficult okay. to sleep here. Um, um, maybe we find somewhere softer to sleep. <laughs> Fine, for Helmer, we can sleep in someplace softer. The pillow <laughs> Helmer Diana only. gave me is now soaked from the water, so I need time to figure this out. <laughs> Uh, do you guys like think we should like follow the compass? Yes, I think, I think so. I think maybe we should. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I, also, I just wonder well. why Dazzle went without us. Well, supposedly the cat could navigate well, according to you all, which I still believe is impossible. But it's like I really racist. well, it yeah. just it's a cat. It doesn't make. Maybe Much they sense. got the scent. Oh Maybe they got a good scent too. Okay, well, follow the scent. Sure. Okay, well. Either way, we should try and find them. Yes. Yes. I agree. Yeah. All right. Let's head to the. But building. rest first for Guntar. And we can walk after the, and then like, rest. After the sharp, pointy, jagged rocks. Right. Let's get to round rocks. At I least. am not afraid of sharp, <laughs> pointy, jagged rocks, but for Hel Helmer, we can sleep someplace softer. <laughs> Thank you, Guntar. Oh, yeah. Unless, okay. I guess, you know, Guntar, you can always just... Helmer like, has soft skin. Yeah, well, I was going to suggest you could sleep on your back on the sharp rocks and then have Helmer crawled up on your chest like a little infant. I would right. love that. Like a corgi. Yeah. Little, El a little Helmer, I would love that. as a brotherly bonding don't, between us. Don't think that's... I feel like it's not brotherly. Part okay. of my thing, actually. Okay. <laughs> I can sleep on my own. Just in a softer place. While this to. conversation's happening, we're headed towards the jungle. Get clear, we're not just standing there. Right, we have been moving. We have been moving. When I was Slowly. tickling Helmer's toes in the water, just because, you know, I, I like to <laughs> feel things out, I will say they were very soft toes. Yeah. Very so gentle, so soft toes. Extremely soft skin. Skin. As we're doing this, I'm it's giving it's Stop talking about my skin. Um, water. Okay. The water that it's I have. Just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why... Why was she so against your existence, your freedom on the ship? I... She was taking control of these people, making decisions for them. I said we should have more of an equal say in things, and it should be more like of like a collective decision-making process, and not just... And, and Kurt's like... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but he's basically, and she just wouldn't have it. She said I was questioning her, and I was she couldn't afford or tolerate dissent in times like these. Well, but it's like it's like the worst thing that she did, like while you were around. She would just organize people into patrols and and guards, and if people f fell asleep or were tired of the thing, she would punish them. Um, How? How would she punish them? Yeah, give us some tea. <sighs> uh, he was a little shaken. Is it violent? Like, it's usually pretty violent, yes. Gory? Not gory, it was more like... Dismemberments? Was it kind of oh. hot? Oh. No. I'm certain the, the dwarven woman had her her reasons. You're all going to What? Did she it's feel possessed at all? Possessed? Did she just... It just... I know she runs a tight ship, but it, it just... This is... Just another side. I you think she was hopped seen. up on some like, local magic? Like MX-99 or something? Maybe. Oh, How many did four locos were did, left? Did her eyes turn effects? blue? Not that I saw. No. What about side effects? Are there side effects? Some can't I don't handle know. is what I've heard. Okay. Wait, what do you, wait, like what do you know about side effects? Yeah, what are you getting at? The mints are powerful. <laughs> the capsules, I think. <laughs> But they were capsules. They were capsules. I mean, they did have a minty flavor, right? That's yes. what I heard. Yeah. Yes. It's, it, it, I'm sure other flavors, I'm sure my family's company will try to make it into all kinds of drinks and brownies and everything else. Oh my but mm, brownies. not everyone, if you've taken any other stimulant, sometimes there are side effects. It's very powerful, but, but like sometimes what? the body, depending on, has a different reaction to it. Diana, as, as you're explaining this, uh, you're holding the compass, right? Yep. Uh, as you're explaining this, 
Uh, whenever you, and this is because of your high perception, passive perception. I'm amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, that's what I said. That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, as you're kind of like moving this, like you're, like talking with your hands a little bit. Uh -huh. Whenever you notice that, whenever this compass gets near where you're keeping the rest of the uh, capsules, uh -huh. it starts to spin a little bit on its own. Mm. It's like whoa, whoa, yeah. I guess it's also things, things around the capsules also uh, get jazzed about about existence. I don't know. Wow, that's uh, is anyone well, that look at that? That makes sense because ever since I had one of those in my little pocket, my nipples have been hard. Mm. Mm. I wasn't gonna say anything, but like they yeah. really are. Yeah, I know. I, I noticed like, that too. <laughs> distractingly, for, like poking through my clothes. Mm. I was gonna just follow like the direction your nipples are headed. To be honest, I feel like it's a sign. They're Is ready it, to party. Um, yeah. I wonder, is the compass jazzed or is the compass pointing toward the source of this magic? Every time I get close to the, look, it's just it's it, spinning. It doesn't. It doesn't like point. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't point at it. It just spins when mm. it gets closer. Spins. Okay. And it yeah. used to spin by itself before, right? It. I mean. Where on your guys' world it worked like a compass, right? When yeah. you got here, it was kind of loose. When you guys were looking at it, mm -hmm. it just it moved kind of wherever the centrifugal force of someone's hand. But now it's pointing toward one di direction. No, well, no. it looks like it looks like Dazzle set it to point in a certain ah, direction. Ah, Dazzle set it. Okay, but no, now I understand. seeing it it's move just around, loose. Okay. it's just a loose arrow it's spinning wildly. But it does now seem it to is. spin. There, and ah, if here, understood. no, Basically, here, yes. The closer it gets to the capsules, the faster it spins. Got it. Right. Yeah. Mm. And it's subtle. It is subtle. It's subtle here with the capsules, yeah. But you, you notice it. I don't know why. I feel okay. Uh, my my nipples are fine. Is everyone else's nipples? <laughs> Anyone have a nipple problem? Or, or oh, I just say it was a problem. Yeah, yeah, it might be an advantage. Yeah. Depending on. This is canon now. Just so you know. <laughs> this is canon. <laughs> Let me check my nipples. Like, Gutsar just thinks. <laughs> he doesn't even check. He just. <laughs> they feel fine. Okay. <laughs> I say my nipples don't feel unfine. They just are hardened and pointing. Ah, uh, one second. Uh, you, are you all a bunch of kink shamers? I feel like you're body shaming me for having natural sensations. No. My nipples <laughs> are soft like Helmer. That, oh yeah, so, you it doesn't body have to be shame. the comparison you use. How did you body shame within that? Helmer has That's soft impressed. skin. He does. Uh, yeah, I also feel like he has slightly puffy nipples. He has the, those little sweet <laughs> pillow nipples that puff up. You know, this I can just see it through the shirt. But... Not the notoriety I was looking for. Uh, everything whispers on you but your nipples. Mm. Wow. They and just, do you know, like, do they, does um, does Pavel like send like guards down to the beach? Ever, uh, or like parties out? I, I don't know. I don't know that she would send people after us. Maybe for retribution, but we didn't take any of the supplies that they were using, did we? Um, like maybe like a couple. I, I, mean, I don't we know. Did have, She's took some ammo. Yeah, we did. But but like that was like given to you guys. Are it we was. scared she that they're gonna follow us? I want to do a perception oh, check oh. of how that boat on the jagged edges is holding up. It's about to fall. Uh, yeah, give me a perception check. Oh, not much. Four. Four. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see through the mist still. Okay. And then with the sun's kind of glaring down. But yeah, if you guys remember, it was creaking oh, quite a wait, bit. Sorry, wait. It's an eight. eight. It's an eight. Still, still yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Thank you. Through the through the mist, it's still pretty difficult to to tell anything. But yeah, you you do remember that it did not feel stable up there. So I'm worried about them. She's got a lot of people. Up. Anyway, I worry too Diana, much. Diana, I know we're going. We are not safe. We aren't, yeah. and we're getting to a resting area. Let's focus up. Yeah, and uh, the sooner we get to the next, you know, whatever, we might have more answers that can help us. But right now, we can't help those people. You know what? I love that. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm thinking it, it, it's yeah. not realistic. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's go. Great. Cool. Um, so while you guys are kind of like walking through the jungle, or you're, you're kind of leading the way a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead and give me a survival check. Kinda... 
Just uh, resin. And you can actually make this with advantage because you had kind of triangulated it a little bit. Ooh. Nat 20? Nat oh. 20. Oh. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, resin is just sort of like, like I feel like, and correct this if you want to, but I feel like as you guys are like just like talking, resin was just like this way <laughs> and just started walking. Um, so uh, you guys are making decent time kind of walking through here, uh, this jungle. Um, while you're walking through there, uh, Kurt kind of sidles up, sidles up to Diana and Helmer, you're, I'm assuming, in earshot. He's trying to look for a place where it's the two of you. Hmm. Um, and he's saying, like, I understand that you want to hold on to it, um, but I think that if we can get to, if, if the structure that you've mentioned, perhaps we can find more about how to activate this and, and, and contact home. So. What are you asking me for? Well, I've just, I, since you're, since you are carrying it. Direct. Since you're carrying it, I just want you to be unaware of, um. The plan? Or a potential plan. Are you making a plan? I don't think it should be my plan, but... Yeah, I, I don't I, think so either. I think <laughs> my intention was to use this stone to contact home. Okay, we're going to use this stone to contact somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> and he puts his hand on your back and he's just like, I'm just glad it was you with the nipples thing and not me, so... Do that! <laughs> he sort of fades away. Get your hand off my soft skin. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, and he does sort of talk to Danny, and he's like, uh, I know, I noticed you remembered some of your training. If there's more you'd like to learn, I'm here, I can help. Diana does her best to be as nice as possible. I love that, too. Give me, <laughs> I think, a deception check. <laughs> I'm just going to roll inside for him. Seven and then it's an A, so you it's can, a plus one. And then you can get advantage when there's an A like that. Yeah. You can get advantage once per oh, right. short or long rest. If you, oh, we haven't done any resting though. Uh, I might I might save it for something bigger. Okay, great. I'm gonna save it. It was a seven. It seven? was just a trick, Kurt. Plus plus one. Yeah. Uh, so, so eight. I think he's just like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just yes. Kurt, we're here now. I I would appreciate whatever I can learn. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. Um, Thank you all for trusting me. Oh, and we don't. don't. I don't know what made you think. Nobody trusts you. (laughs) You just you're just so aligned with the industry, and it's just so. In unhuman. Do you know? Do you have family, Kurt, back in the other planet? No, I think he was grown in a lab of lies. You sound like Max's mm. wife. <laughs> well, did you say so? Is my ex-wife? Is that what you he said? said you sound like my ex. Oh, great. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> don't fool you, Kurt. Ever. Like, what's, what? Let was... me guess. You put your corporation before your family, and they don't like you. Let's for let's, it. hey, let's... <laughs> hey. We don't need to be talking about each other's family right now because it might be a sensitive subject some of us don't some, know who our parents some are. of us don't correct some of us don't know who our parents are and it might be a sensitive subject so kurt or we get bought to the bottom of our family trauma that we're trying to heal what i'm yeah. sorry it's gonna Let's be continue. a long trip <laughs> um awesome okay <laughs> Uh, as you guys are kind of trekking through here, uh, my parents didn't, weren't, we don't know who they were, okay? I grew up in a very nice dwarven home with uh, two dwarves, uh, we know, we know. Eleanor and uh, Gunto. <laughs> Gunto. Gunto and Eleanor, mm-hmm. which... Eleanor, which uh, I make me Guntar, and uh, they were very kind people, took me in, and that is what I know. Do you think that's enough? Obviously, it's not. They no. taught him songs, so I mean, that's they like taught songs, me. jolly songs life, that he's very proud of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't yes. know. This, is this what is this curiosity? What does it stem from? Fear? Well, inadequacy. I, at some point, I decided to travel to join the army so that maybe I could meet my 
birth parents. I, like I hope you get to do that one day. Thank I you. hope that that happens Thank for you. Thank you, Resonant the Thief. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, I do a perception check on Augie Angus. Uh, May I? What are you May trying I? to... I, I, we got we to gotta sleep. We got to let this guy sit down. Yeah, what are you trying to deduce about him? I just, I want to know is, like, are you okay? Okay. Give me, <laughs> in that case, give me either an insight or medicine check. Okay. Insight's going to tell you more about his, like, psychological mental state. Medicine's going to tell you more about his physical state. Mm, God, I want to know both. You can do both. Insight of his, insight. I want insight check. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry, that landed sideways. Oh, I should have taken it. It's a one. It's a one mm -hmm. plus four plus three. So it is. But it's a one. Yeah, so it's eight. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's still pretty impressive with a one. But uh, uh, unfortunately, yeah, I think with that, uh, it's the way that you're kind of walking through this jungle it's hard to kind of be focused on him for more than like a half a second okay. just because of the, the density of like the canopy and the trees here so there's just like you'll try to like get a read on him and then like his face will just get covered by a palm frond or something and so, like, it's like hard to read <laughs> his, okay. his emotional state and like okay that. i'll carry him uh, angus if you need anything let me know i mean i i won't say no to that Oh, okay. Are you doing okay? Is this pace fine? I'll carry him. I'm, I'm that could have been you, Helmer. <laughs> you could have been a little baby in his arms. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I think you can pick this man up, no problem. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I rolled a 19. <laughs> for athletics. 29. For athletics. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, no problem. <laughs> you, just, like, you just like pick him up by the waist with one hand. <laughs> he just All right. crawls up. Come on, Angus. Be gentle with Let him. me tell you about my parents. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just kind of like, like arms around your neck, like slumps. <laughs> just like a little, little baby Yoda kind of situation. Aww. Um <laughs> Awesome. I forget um, what uh, we've been told by Kurt about, like, if there's any type of message that we're expecting to receive if we get in touch with him with the stone. Have we asked anything about, like, kind of like what the plan is in the event that we actually get to reach them? Uh, are you asking Kurt that? I'm asking the DM that. If you, if you so remember. That, yeah, because it will change how I talk to Kurt. <laughs> um, I don't think you guys were expecting a message. Okay, so uh, so Kurt, like in the event like that, we are able to get this stone like up and running. Like, what are you gonna tell your family? Like, what are you gonna tell them? Well, it won't be my family, uh, but I'm gonna tell them what we found. Which uh, is that there is a world here, and will that shock them, or will they have like some idea that this was like a possibility? Because like you seemed like pretty well trained back there, and that was kind of surprising to me, to be honest. Well, a lot of the people that work at VHS go undergo the basic training, uh, some with a little slightly different focus than others, but all of it is to use the, the Vitalic current. We should know how to use this stuff if we're going to be selling it. Well, it seems like all of us should know how to use it, so I say that as soon as we end up getting some sleep, you should teach us some basics. Absolutely. There are definitely some things I could teach you. What should we know immediately? Um, so even even being untrained, most of you will not have a tolerance for MX-99. It might not agree with you if you take it. Uh, Diana and myself, we have uh, built up a tolerance to it. And he's basically mechanically referring to mana, mana capacity. Um, but if you take it and you haven't had the training, it might have an adverse reaction to it. But if you're able to contain it, there are some effects you can produce. It might make you more proficient in battle. Um, it might make you a little bit more durable in certain situations. And there's potential that you could potentially sap the mana from someone else. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to take it in yourself, but you can diffuse, you can move it from them back into the ether. And you can do all of that without learning any specific incantations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but if we if we're able to activate the stone that that was in the vault that Helmer now has, then hopefully I can I can reach back home, let them know what we found, and, and start trying to figure out a way to get back. We have some of the greatest minds at in VHS and Varco Industries. Yeah, we have a great one maybe here too. Thank you. 
Not you. No. Oh, yeah. There's no oh, way she was talking about you. Yeah, Even I no understood way. that it wasn't I talking knew about that. you. I, I thought that you could have been Guntar before it's you. <laughs> oh. I knew that, but Kurt was going to definitely take that opportunity to <laughs> shoot himself. Oh. Uh, Kurt, how many incantations do you know? I I can't remember. I think five is what he knows. Mm. Uh, impressive. A handful. A handful? I mean, I want to know every single one you know. Well, I can't do any of them right now. I had to use all of the mana that I had to get us safely down to the water. All right, and what, that incantation was what, like, Leviosa? Like, what were you doing there? What, what was it, that thing? We called it Gravity Pocket. Gravity Pocket. Gravity Pocket. Okay, so you can do a Gravity Pocket. What are the short little names for the other ones, you know? Um, I can make light. Hmm. Um, like, I have a bad situation, or...? <laughs> You could, have been, ah! you could have been doing this this whole give me, time. Give me, give me a persuasion check. Uh, <laughs> four minutes. Uh, uh, Twelve. Twelve? This is a smirk. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I can provide some resistances if I'm if I know we're going into a dangerous situation. Um, We've been in dangerous situations this whole time. But I can't do it with I can't do it without <laughs> capsules. Oh, okay, well, I just I just want to point out we had capsules for a while now, and you, I and totally you got injured. Yeah, I took one of them and I used it to get us safely down to the water. Well, I will say I put that in your mouth. Yeah. Well, you put one into my mouth and I used it to get us down to the water. That is the one time I've had a capsule. Okay, I'm just saying. So he. Has, I can. Okay, I can. Yeah. What I can prepare objects. Yeah. Um, I can make myself or one of you a little quicker. And if we come across any foreign languages, this is probably going to be the most useful. I can decipher that language. Okay, we'll keep that in our pockets. Um, okay, I think we just continue through this jungle. And while we're walking, I'm curious, like, so, like, do you know anything about like the geography? Oh shit! Here? Sorry, actually, he can't do that light spell. That's not a thing he can do. Um, can't make okay, light of my bag. <laughs> yeah, redacted. Good enough. Uh, sorry, what were we saying? Um, I'm trying to figure out like how much he knows about like this structure or the geography of the island at all. I can make you make a check, but he literally doesn't know anything about it. Okay. Yeah, you probably know more about it than he does just for having, having seen it. Got it. Um, okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, is anyone getting a, like a sense of like where where we're at in terms of like anyone getting any bad feelings or anything? Or should we just keep going before we find a place to rest? Check? Give me you specifically. Give me a perception check. Where's my perception? Where's my perception? There it is. And actually, Helmer, give me a soft skin check. Actually, no. I'm just gonna come to you in a second. <laughs> Ten. I can't roll Ten. anymore. Ten. Bad at rolling. I switched spots. I finally am rolling well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so you feel a slight, like, like, kind of like rumbling sound in the compass. Um, like it's hungry. <laughs> like it, it seems to like be spinning a little bit. Like you, you feel it like scrape a little bit. Uh, the, the needle spinning inside. Inside. Um, Helmer. Or go ahead. Uh, look at this. It's not near me. It's not near my my capsules. It's spinning. Yes. It just started. You guys, any vibes over there? We've got a wild compass that has nothing to do with me. Uh, I mean, Power of the nipples. It's still hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Careful those things. <laughs> If I were to guess, he's tired. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I'm very tired. <laughs> You're not able to sleep. Um, it feels like we are near magic or something magical, right? Right? Uh, yes. It seems like magic is kind of everywhere these days. Yeah, it's pretty thick. I don't think we should call it. This current. He's like, I don't think we should call it magic. Okay, Mr. What is it we're called? All in a gravity pocket. Uh, magic or what? What is it? What is it in the capsule? If you were if you were a caveman and you saw fire, you would think that's magic, but it's not. It's technology. We understand what it is. <laughs> oh, you right. know what? You can't fire as technology. It of course, fire like is the first technology. 
Oh, it seems like there's technology everywhere these days. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Do you mean? <laughs> Does that sentence make sense to you, Kurt? Do you understand? <laughs> Are you on board? Yeah, this, of course, this is yeah, technology all around Kurt. us. <laughs> it's like, I feel like it, we need you know, another He told bombing. us all these spells, and now we just want to kill him. <laughs> yeah. He seemed useful for one second. I never... I, I always... Didn't hate Kurt until this Sorry, moment, no, right no, now. Real quick, there's there, when you say that, there's this voice in the back of your head that's like, kill him, kill him. Uh, <laughs> out of nowhere, you just hear this strange voice, and it's almost like, kill him, oh. like almost like backwards. And, what? and so, places. anyone else hear it? Just... You heard it. What? None of you all heard that. Are you okay? How are you okay? Huh? Sorry to interrupt you, Chris, but no, I had to do fine. that in a moment. Uh, I'm uh, fine. Are, are Elmer, you? your soft skin looks a little tight. Ew. <laughs> the nipples got puffier. <laughs> are you okay? Can I run? Can I do something? What do you want to do? <laughs> Kill him. I want to think about what this could ever mean to me. To me. Where, what do you? What, what is your instinct that it is? In that moment, Elmer. Uh, I haven't taken a capsule. Correct. They're in my vicinity, but like... Diana has them, I think. Diana has them. You have one. Maybe it was In my pocket. pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, have one in my pocket. I have two. Um, I have one. I have one now. So I guess I'm wondering, is it connected to that? Okay. Or is it connected to this environment? Give me an investigation check then, if you're checking the capsules and kind of that kind of thing. Okay. Nine. Nine. Mm. Uh, you you look at the capsule when you stare at it. Nothing about the voice comes back. Mm -hmm. Elmer, are you okay? Of... Yes, shut up. I'm just, sorry. What? Um, are you going to take that pill, bro? I think I need to take some sleep too soon. That's oh, what so I was saying. Let's find some soft rocks. Yeah, but like, okay. are we not worried that the compass is like spinning all of a sudden? Does that does it feel like we're in more danger now? Or should let's we keep move, going? Yeah, let's a keep moving. Further ahead. Let's keep maybe, going. Maybe we'll get out of the danger. If it goes faster, maybe we, we slow down and go okay. take a different turn. Um, can I do a perception check on the weather? Uh, what or are you trying like, to determine? Just like, I just don't know. Is there, is there wind in the trees? Is there like... Yeah. So also, if you just want like descriptions of like the surroundings, you don't have to make a check for that. Okay, you just, great. Can just, you can just say like, what's the weather? What's the weather? Yeah. Uh, it's humid. Okay. Jungle. Okay. You yes. feel that like moisture in the air. Okay. Um, it's a little bit like, I want to say probably like late morning at this point. Uh-huh. Or like mid morning probably. Yeah. Um, so... It just feels like humid and sweaty. Uh, there's not like big rain clouds or anything like that. But you okay. got those two suns kind of glaring down. And no one's no one's like hearing anything, right? Like as we're walking through the jungle, we're all kind of just like going in my straight line that I'm putting us in. There's there's plenty of like little. This is a jungle, so there's plenty of little creatures kind of crawling around, uh -huh. unfamiliar creatures. Yeah. Most of them don't seem to bother you too much. Okay, and, let's um, just keep going. Most of them don't seem yeah. to be predatory enough to do that. Uh, while we're walking, though, I uh, go over to Kurt. Um, uh, so like, you know, like a lot about like, like the Varkos, don't you? Yeah. Did you ever hear about someone named Rosicus? Rosicus? Uh, where do they work? Which department? Um, I guess you could say their work is kind of everywhere. She kind of was uh, an inspiration and uh, an influence. Why did you hear that? I mean, if I'm getting my wires crossed, you know, maybe I, I don't know. Uh, if it's somebody that I, I don't know this person, they must have been like, there's plenty of people that work there though, and like lower operatives, I don't always meet them. I wouldn't say it was lower. I don't know this person. Do I get the sense that he's telling the truth? You can make an inside check. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, he's kind of a hard dude to read, but you don't, you don't, you're not sure that he's lying. I'll say that. Okay. 
Okay. Just curious, I guess. Yeah, Rosicus. Uh, kind of like a, a friend of, um, would it have been Vincent? Or, yeah, kind of like a friend of um, Vincent. Uh, they seemed pretty close back in the day. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure where you read that, but I haven't heard anything like that. If I wanted to read about something like that, is there like a place to like read it? Uh, here? No. I'm no, sure but back when home. we get back home. Yeah, there's the museums of, yeah. There's plenty of museum exhibits about Vincent Vaco. Somehow I feel like it wouldn't be in, in one of those. I think there was some documentaries. Okay. Articles. Forget I said anything. Of course. Uh... <laughs> As you are all uh, walking through here, the compass does start to spin a little bit. Um, like, pretty intensely. More intensely than it was with your, when you're near your capsules. Um, Can I just look around? By all means. Everyone's telling me it's not magic that's around us. It's magic. magic, magic. It's technology. I've got a 19. 19. God. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, hell yeah. Um, reveal it. yourself. <laughs> so you, you, you march into the jungle with Angus still on your back, like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> say, reveal yourself. And uh, you kind of come to this, like, kind of march through these uh, trees, making some noise, and you come to this small glade here it's kind of opening and kind of before you is this pool like this dark pool of water mm. um and sort of covering that pool is this thin filmy layer of a bluish like milk white blue algae that Coming is sort out. of covering the this thing oh is what did i say no. are we with him is that the algae we're with him right uh, you watched ahead, right? I found magic. All right, I come over. I run over. So you guys magic. all, you guys all arrive, and you hear this. You see this uh, um, uh, pool in front of you, covered in like this algae that sort of has this silvery glow to it. It's like this milky blue white algae. Um, oh my god! Does Kurt like immediately respond? What's his reaction? Kurt's just staring at it, like, like he's looking at. A gold mine. Mm. Oh, that looks so tasty. D- wait. What? Just, just be careful around it. I, I uh, just. Do you know what this is? Yes, the capsules are made of this. Oh. Look at how much this is. You still don't know tons about it. You guys are pushing it all real far, this is real m- fast. We gotta just respect it a little bit. Diana, this is more than I've seen in my entire life. Fantastic. It's just in this pool. A magic pool. So this is if, if it's just hey, like this everywhere pool. here. <laughs> if it's just like this here everywhere, imagine what that could mean. We have to report Kurt, this back. We don't want to hear this. Yeah, yeah. Why are you so hopped up? You're so excited for the company. Think about what we could do with it. We need to save ourselves. I just saved you using some. it. Imagine what that could do. Let's see. Can I taste it? No. Okay. Why we take a little drop? I think, of okay. it I think, I think we should all taste it a little bit. Yeah, we should all take a bite. Yeah. Oh my god. Unless one person wants to be Except our for Kurt. mother, just a den droplet. person. <laughs> uh, den mother. <laughs> okay. Please, Diana, please. Please, please let us take a taste, please. Please, let us take a taste, please. I get to go first. This good oh, time. I, 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 it's, it's so strong. Sips. What? <laughs> no, you're going to drink the whole thing. I know how to take a sip. No, please stop uh, yelling at me. Look, yeah, look. that was just during the oat milk situation. I think everybody else should sip first. No. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. Slur- it's a slur- It's going to be a it's lot. A sip. I, t- I feel like we should portion out your sip. I don't you. mind resting near it. I just think it, it I, also, okay, Kurt, if you're so excited, do you know any of the process of turning it from algae to capsule? Is there any kind mm. of filtration it has to go through? Can we do it raw? I, I love doing it raw. You gotta do it raw. <laughs> <laughs> I was not part of that process. Oh, of course she was. That's have, like the only process he hasn't been a part of. We I have know. machines that scientists <laughs> built that can do this. I don't know how those work. Wait, Rob, 
I mean, Helmer. <laughs> Who? What's the rock doing out of? Just, I'm curious. How's the rock? Do you Check have it? it? Out. Keep it away from Kurt. Okay. Oh yeah. What if we put the rock in the water? Yeah. You hold it up. Mm-hmm. Um, Do, what, what's the rock doing? You don't see it do anything. Okay. Helmer, when you pull it out, and standing here next to this pool, mm-hmm. you hear, "Kill him! Be king of all! Run away! Nothing!" All kinds of voices, just like some of them in languages you don't understand, overlapping, filling the the your head. Helmer, what do you see? Hey, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah! You're able to oh kind of to suppress it enough okay? to like focus again. I think again. the rock is too uh, rough on his soft hands. Put it back in my uh, pocket, covered up in my thing. What are you, just are you all right, Helma? I think the rock is evil. It was talking to me. What? What did it say? It said a lot of bad things. It said a lot of bad things. What did it like say? what, for example? Helmer. Was it talking shit about me? Say one. It said all this stuff I couldn't even understand in multiple languages of different worlds, but also ones I could understand that sounded like violent. Like Helmer, what? Helmer, is it okay if one of us tries to see if it talks to each of us or if it's only talking just to you? Yes. What did it say? Yes. Okay. Do you mind if you I... You check it out. Okay. Yeah, let's The thief? You're going to give it to the thief? Guntar, we're way past thief. <laughs> okay. This is our team. Okay. Good Aww. catch. The thief saved you. Oh. Yeah. Right. I hold well, on to the rock and see if it does anything, and I'm pretty close to the algae as well. Yeah. As you get closer to the algae, the voices get louder, and you hear like those same, like, like, kill, kill them, take over, command them, free, free yourself. Okay. Okay. Right? I, uh, that was messed up. I, I heard I, it, it, it's kind of violent. Okay, well, really? can we just share what can is I, yeah, being said? Everyone's saying it's, it's violent. What yeah, is it? It's telling us to kill to kill people. It was all, I mean, it's, it's saying all they, kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. It's saying all kinds of things that are distru- chaos and destruction. Yeah? Well, the ones you can hear are. Okay, so. The ones you can understand. Kurt, uh, What's the deal with this rock? What? How is this supposed to work? It's it's telling us all kinds of screwed up stuff, and you're saying this is our way to call home. How do how do we know that this isn't like a trap to like unleash chaos on people? Why would someone build a trap to unleash chaos? Why because we live in a horrible for profit. profit. How is that profitable? Chaos. You could figure it Just out. Just answer the question, well, Kurt. Maybe. Uh, my understanding working with the experts back home was that this device, uh, and, and in my own studies, it, it seemed that it is some kind of communication device. Well, it's definitely communicating to us, but what makes you think that we're able to you communicate hearing, other people? You're hearing voices from it? Yeah. I've never seen it do that. What have you seen it do? Nothing. What have you heard I've just looked does? at the, the runes on the outside of it. What do the runes say? I mean, it, it is, they're just like, uh, a bunch of random characters, basically, that you don't recognize. Does he Do recognize I recognize them? them? Um, I don't think any of you would recognize them. Um, Does Kurt recognize them? Are you asking him? No. Yeah. Kurt, do you know what these things are? I, Dude, can you be for real? Because uh, <laughs> I'm going to take a hit of Mana or whatever it is right now, and I'm going to zap out whatever's left in you. And I'm going to, and then I'm going to use the rock to hurt you. Yeah, I'm going to put it in a weird place. Okay. That doesn't make Sorry. me want to Sorry. give you information about... Sorry. <laughs> it's just that you, you're so frustrating. Yeah. I just don't think you know how frustrating you are. This is why you're divorced. Mm-hmm. It's because you don't communicate things do you, do you until know, someone pushes you to talk about it. Do you know Linda? No, wow. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I don't know I feel like in but a way we're all Linda. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we are Linda. Like It's a very painful existence to be having to experience you. We should. Can we find a place to rest? <laughs> if you, yeah, on the shore here. Can, can we, like, if you correct in Linda in the way you corrected me about fire being technology, I also would divorce you, Kurt. Yeah. Okay. I may want to definitely rock? divorce what? you. <laughs> and I, I hold it, mm-hmm. and I also have the compass in the other hand. The compass is going nuts. Yeah. Basically, and like you can tell, it's the closer you get to the algae, it goes nuts. Right. The stone, you hear those same voices. Being this close to the algae, you hear just a cacophony of voices. What if you like reach it down like almost next to the algae, touching the algae? Uh, it just stays loud. Okay. What if I put it in the algae? Do you reach, are you reaching the stone into the algae? Do it. Uh, yes. Um, 
the know. voices yeah. get really mumble. No, I'm just the, the stairs are the same. And <laughs> you can tell, it's a good test, though. It it, uh, it does it. It's basically like you can deduce that it's the closer in proximity to large quantities of this stuff. It it does seem to activate it somehow. So remind us some properties of this artifact. Remind us how, because um, I believe I've asked Kurt before, like, mm-hmm. how does the algae, do we know, like, what the idea is of, like, making the algae and the stone work to make this communication? Are we supposed to just, like... His theory is that uh, he doesn't, he basically, he knows there's a couple things you need to be able to use one of these devices. Mm-hmm. They're they're not that different from some of the devices that Varco Industries and VHS have, have developed, right? Uh, which is that you need... Um, and likely was reverse engineered from stuff like this, is that you need mana to power it, and then you need to know the incantation. And he doesn't know the incantation. Mm, useless. Um, I uh, I take a bite of the algae. <gasps> give me, okay, so you just reach down and grab a handful. Mm-hmm. Give me a constitution saving throw. And oh, you're- Nat 20, bitch. Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my God. Bubble in one mana. Cool. Resident. So yeah, Resin just like reaches over and grabs a handful of this algae and just like bites into it, right? Wow. And there's just like blue, like kind of like toothpastey stuff, kind of like like, like like raspberry uh, <laughs> lips. Like raspberry lips. <laughs> well, so I'm saying you have like like. <laughs> oh, you okay. 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 Uh, are you? Uh, what does it taste like, guys? Just, it's it's oh. got kind of a minty flavor to it. It kind of tastes like the way that you've been describing the capsules is tasting. But it has like an anise flavor to it too. It's got kind of a funk mm-hmm. to it. Like I that. mean, you're the chef. I feel like maybe you should try some too. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Uh, give me a constitution saving throw. <laughs> you're Willy Wonka. Eleven. Eleven. I am Willy Wonka. I am. Stop, please. Do I don't. Anything? Constitution. 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 Um, Where's that? Right, blueberry pie. Oh, okay. Ten. Ten. Um, Later, y'all. Oh, actually. Okay, so I'll say this because I'm I'm remembering the rules I wrote now. Um, So you. You better. I have to actually look this up. Sorry, give me a second. Because you are poisoned. Oh, well, you shouldn't have said that before. <laughs> <laughs> that's why second. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but that's the cost. But you got mana. So, Do you want to take it back? Well, I think I... Uh, no, let's commit to it. Okay, because I'm, I'm going to I saved my so no, 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 constitution no. check because I got a nat 20. Mm-hmm. So did I take any damage? You don't take Not any damage. damage. Okay. Um, I just, I'm trying to remember these rules. These are new stuff I, I made up, so I'm just making sure that I remember how this works. So you can always unmake it up. I could, but don't know. Kind of. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up, but I, I want to say um, that you you gain a level of exhaustion if you fail this, and you're poisoned, which is, yeah, but yeah. and you don't gain the mana. Oh. No, Mana? Yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's tricky. I hate you. <laughs> I said they, we don't know everything. Okay. Kurt says we, knows, we know everything. We don't. Well, what am I, I have to report about, about right now? After my so you, you can take that back if you want. I, I, hand I, her, I hand Zyth a flask of water. Okay. Maybe Or maybe I try mean, to get it up. Do you want to, I don't know, eat grass or something? Maybe I, I try to get it up. Like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let her out back good, and she but... can eat yeah. some grass. Okay, yeah, I'll eat some grass. Okay, I'm going to chug this water and she eat some grass. She eats more algae by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was trying to grab my grass. Uh, yeah, you know what? Since I'll go ahead. I'll give you, you can make a nature... Or medicine check if you want. Okay. And I'll see if it can just kind of ad hoc this thing. So you do have this. Uh, prison. And what, what is that? I'm poisoned. I have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. <gasps> oh no. But you do have the mana. Whoa. Okay. And what did you do with the mana that. again? Um, you can do an empower strike, fortified skin, or mana drain. And I can explain what those are. Cool. Also, I'm going to rest soon, right? Yes. I would yeah. like to rest. I would like to rest right now in the algae. Uh, your... the, how are the trees around us? Is there anywhere that looks like we could what, nest? What was in? your check? Uh, wait, I just rolled an eight. Plus, what, what would I do? Plus. Nature or medicine? Your choice. Um, 
Oh, I have um, proficiency on nature and advantage. Should I try to use that? Do you want to use your, your know-how? Yeah, let's try to do that. See okay. if we can, something can happen here. Okay, that's better. That's a 12 plus three, so 15. 15? I'll say that you can you can you can like grab a bunch of fistfuls of grass and kind of like make a quick poultice out of that, and yeah. it'll top it'll. Uh, what is it, Top Chef? Like, as long as you as long as you rest soon, you'll be able to remove that poison condition. Can I get uh, Guntar to carry me a little bit of the way? I mean, get that guy Augie out of here. <laughs> okay. He's had enough, <laughs> Augie. How are you? But your eyes do flash a little bit. And you catch that, and Kurt catches that, uh, and Kurt starts walking. Your eyes. Kurt Resonant. starts. Yeah, resident's eyes. Kurt starts walking towards the pool. Kurt, wait. I think we should. I think it's fine. <laughs> Let him go. You just fall in love, Kurt. I'll work <laughs> off. He, Kurt's gonna turn into some demon, and we're gonna have to fight Kurt. Do you understand this? I, what? Wait, wait, what? What are you I, talking about? Hold on, hold on. I was busy that would be kind of fun. I'm tripping. You need to speak slower, okay? I I think if you submerse your whole self in it, we have no idea what could happen, and we know. I'm not submersing. Little... Is he going swimming? Yeah. What are you talking I'm about? I'm just Kurt? gonna do what what Resonant did and just take a handful. Maybe we should throw him in. No, let way. him take it. I think. We should find a tree, rest in it, and watch and see if any other animal comes through and what it does with the pool. It's kind of smart. Mm. Who's the one who's saying he's going to take it? Angus or um, Kurt? Kurt. 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 I think we should test Angus. Let Kurt take it. Kurt, you should. Same I think we should test Angus. In it. But have Kurt do it. Pure as the animal. Kurt, have fun. All of us, let's go up and Everyone get your knife ready. I don't trust Kurt. I think it amplifies your soul, and I don't think so, Kurt's going okay. to Kurt That's what I have to takes say. Takes a flask. Uh, and dips it in there and fills up some algae and tips it back. Chad, His Chad, eyes flash. Chad, Chad. Seems totally fine. He's like, it's got kind of a funk, but it's fine. Right, I kind of liked it. Yeah. Yeah, he, it's he like didn't have to roll You're for fine it. right oh, now. So, oh, this is so unfair. Why am I sick and Kurt's just like funking it up? He does another one. <laughs> a lot of training. He does guess. another one. Another? Uh -huh. Wait, Kurt's just, just getting an hour. Is he filling in his mana? Uh huh. Uh, okay, Stop hey, it. listen, buddy. All right, listen. Wrap it listen, up. and I pull out a <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Hey. You're done here. Okay. Do I get the idea that Kurt? I think we can use this. Sure. Not now. It's you. I feel much better about it. I think you'd be fine to take this. Not if you chug it all, all up. Flasks? I take yeah. Kurt's flask. Good. Yeah. There, I uh, fill it up. I'll let you know when you have a drink. Okay. okay. He's got two. Give me think, your other flask. No, I think I'm sorry. we should all Just take for clarity, he's got two mana. That's not good. Well, so. somebody can. Can somebody? Can let's we just put it in our backpacks and not eat it yet? Yeah. 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 So let's all let's yeah. all take a couple of handfuls, right? But right. if Kurt's acting up, I think we should use anybody who's got the mana, use it and like zap his fucking stuff. Okay. <laughs> I think if we need to, that's a great call. Yeah. Mana. 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 Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Mana. Kylie Minogue. Mana. Yeah. Minogue? It's Minogue. So, yeah, just so you guys know, I, I can quickly Not read Mana, these. Okay. Um, but Power Strike is um, when you make an attack and hit, you can expend mana to deal additional damage to the target. For each one mana you expend, you can roll 2d6 up to a maximum of 5d6, should be uh, 66, and expend it to the damage of the attack. The damage type of this extra damage is force damage. So when you hit and you have mana charged up, you can kind of like detonate a bunch of damage on that, if that makes sense. Even with a weapon or just like an arm strike? Weapon. Cool. Yeah, even ranged weapons. Um, cool. Useful for you. Cool. Yep. Um, uh, fortified scan. As a bonus action, you can expend one mana to give yourself a resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non magical weapons until the start of your next turn. If you extend, if you instead expend two mana, you gain resistance to all types of damage until the start of your next turn. Resistance, just for because it's new, basically halves damage. Okay. So you could be like, use a bonus action to like kind of like supercharge yourself with whatever mana's in your system and give yourself resistance to damage. So. In the future, if I take some some of this stuff, will it work better, or am I just always going to be poisoned? And so mechanically, what's going on is if you have a mana capacity, which only Diana does, and well, we'll get Kurt. there. Uh, you can, uh, <laughs> yeah, for now, Kurt. You don't have to make it as long as you stay within your mana capacity. Once you exceed your mana capacity, that's when you make the Constitution saving throw, because everybody else has a mana capacity of zero. You 
you basically, as soon as you do it, you have to do that. Yeah. I go ahead and I also take a bit of allergy. How many are you taking? A handful. Okay. What one one uh, scoop? Okay. To save for later, or to to drink. To drink. Oh, okay. cool. Then bubble in one of your mana. It's that easy. And yeah, it's minty, it's funky. It's got kind of the so I have two swamp flavor to out it. Out of three that I can have. Can I fill my flask? Mm -hmm. Do I need to mark anything for that? Um, just mark that you have two in a flask. And I don't mark anything because it didn't work, right? Right. Oh. Sorry. I will save mine in a flask. Oh, Do I see me. any trees that would two be good in a for flask? climbing? Easy for climb, easy for resting. Uh, uh, Near the neck, we can also keep our eyes on the pool. Resting, I'm not sure about. Because uh, I don't know about resting in a tree, but... Uh, I just think out of harm's way. Am I wrong? Where, 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 where do, where do, where do, where do, where do poor people hammock? Where do poor people rest? <laughs> where do poor people I like rest? I that that's offensive. Uh, I heard a swashbuckle hammock is something that Resin can make. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> where do um, the pores rest? On the ground? That doesn't seem safe. Uh, go ahead and give me a survival check. Ooh, I have that. I have it. Okay, great. So I'm going to add a lot if I get this. Please roll better. No! Oh my god. Five plus four plus three. So eight plus twelve. Twelve? Yes. Um, there are some like larger branches that like you could try to sleep on. It doesn't look super... Um, it looks like it'd be easy to fall out of this mm. and just fall to the ground. Mm. Um, but, dazzle. Yeah. Uh, I can yeah. find that cat. But oh, easy enough. Sweet, sweet cat. Cl not easy to climb, but definitely climbable. And probably some places you could get some kind of vantage point from. A night watch. Do you see any type of um, area over here that seems good for shelter or uh, a long rest? Um, give me a survival check. I'm coming to you soon. Thanks for being patient. No, oh, that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> uh, 19 plus 5. Damn it. Wow. Um, it's because I'm sitting here. It's because I got a lucky gold stack. Yeah, I would say kind of like looking around, uh, kind of getting an idea of the terrain, kind of exploring a little more of the boundaries. You're more, you're more being, you're used to being like alone yeah. in situations. So you're kind of more comfortable like going out to the edges mm -hmm. and you do see that there's like a bit of a higher, some higher ground yeah. with some like clearing around it. That seems like a, it's not, you're going to be more visible, mm -hmm. but you actually have more vis uh, uh, visual around you too. So any kind of watch will be better. Guys, there's like a little area over here. If we need to take a rest, I think that uh, we should go up here and then if someone wants to keep watch while the rest of us sleep we should do that i would love to take a rest i'm gonna take a rest me too and you want to take watch while we rest rest i'll rest, keep watch rest. okay watch i'll watch okay so the three of us rest and angus is watching angus, angus, is angus, is angus is sorry sorry sleep. sorry yeah. no yeah that's what i meant to say um, go to sleep little boy <laughs> he's already asleep <laughs> As soon as you guys kind of get to sleeping on Angus is though like, <laughs> yeah. how old is Angus? He's like probably like mid thirties. Oh, oh, I Absolute thought he was child. like, I was really giving Angus like 61. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. No, oh, wow. it's fine. But Angus like Let's knows- Let's 61, a, yeah. I thought he was like a little- yeah. We talked to him about him being kind of like Giles. So that actually makes more sense what you said. Yeah, like he's like older than the- yeah. than, well, I was doing like no. Like Diana's and, also like what Fort House Diana. I don't know because I thought she was like sixteen, mid twenties, but you keep pushing her down to like she's four princess. years old. I think. <laughs> I'm only four no, years no. old. No, 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 four years old. No, um, yeah, no, she's um, she's half elf, she's, so she might she, look young. Yeah, so she's she's like late early twenties. Great. Okay. I'm gonna shut up. This is not important. No, that's, that is important. Um, My old little boy is sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you gently lay him down, and I was being sarcastic. The good night. Oh, that's <laughs> scary. <laughs> his little, his little like, wisp of hair, you know. Aww. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> just to paint the picture a little bit, uh, you guys are kind of like you're still in this like jungle area, but you're on this kind of like uh, raised portion. 
of the terrain. Okay. And then around you is like some some dense jungle, but right where you immediately are, it's not as dense as other places. So you can kind of see some things. Great. And there's some like strange plants, unfamiliar flora and fauna um, kind of growing around, especially some like wild looking, very like dark blue, bright pink, kind of yellow strands, like big, huge flowers in here too. Ah. Oh. Um, Stunning. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that everybody wore floral prints too. It actually <laughs> works for this episode. Um, um, so resting, resting, yeah, resting. resting. I, mean, I do want to explore a bit. And the two of you are watching one. Okay. So Good wait, sitting. do you want to explore or do you want to rest? I don't want to like After I wake up, I want to explore. I want okay, to like rest a little. You know? I mean, I have full health, so I'm, I'm going to take a short, short rest. Okay. Well, will it help? Will it help? Okay, really quick. Does this remove my mana if I rest? Um, I think it does. Okay, yeah. then I'm not going to rest. I'll keep watch. Good question. But the longer you guys stay awake, the more you'll have to make Constitution saves to risk or uh, potentially become exhausted. That's fine. <clears throat> I don't want to risk my mana. Okay. All right, so since I'm awake... Uh, you've been up for like 36 hours? Yeah. It's like that. Sure. sure. Okay. Uh, so I'm just looking around, um, since it's kind of a good vantage point. Uh, one, to try and see if we get any hint of the structure. Okay. And two, just to see if anything jumps out as um, worth uh, uh, stealing and, and checking out for later. Okay. Give me a perception or investigation in this case. Uh... 19. Is that perception or investigation? Investigation. Okay. Uh, it's actually 20. 20. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, you kind of clocked everybody's gear. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to so, steal from my own party. But yeah, but as, as part of accounting from this, you, you have an idea of like basically where what everyone has and where everything is located. Um, you've got kind of an idea of the perimeter. So if anything goes crazy, you're going to have quick access to like exit plans and things like that. Um, and then even looking down, you're kind of plotting a course for like tomorrow to be like, okay, if we start this way, kind of head on this bearing, you keep like mentally kind of like building a map of this, this trail that you're going to intend to follow the mm -hmm. next day towards the structure. Um, and then as you're kind of clocking that, um, you see a figure sort of aimlessly wandering in the jungle. What way are Do you mind <laughs> describing what your character looks like? Yes. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry. Do don't sweat it. Perceive me. <laughs> yeah, perceive me. Perceive me. Perceive this character. So, the silhouette that you see is um, petite. Uh, picture like a Janelle Monet meets <laughs> FKA Twigs, Ooh. you know, very oh. cute. Oh. Um, what you see, you see like a wavy bob, like a short haircut, like a wavy bob that's, oh. that goes well with the humidity. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and she saunters. She's, she's moving through the jungle. She's got a big shield. She's got a large knife. I don't know if you can see that, if you can make that out. I feel like you can with that 20 on the investigation. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> And some reinforced armor on that little tiny frame. Where'd she get that? You're maybe wondering. I don't know. Um, so that's what you see. Yeah. And, who, you and only also, Resin sees this? As far as I know. Oh. So uh, we're taking watch. I'm sleeping. Gotten there yet. Okay, yeah. sorry. Um, I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, go, go ahead. Go ahead and roll a perception checks, both of you, actually, because you were saying you were going to do watch. So that's fair. Oh, hell yeah. 15. So that's a plus four. 19. A 17. 17. Yep. Okay. So yeah, all of you see this too. You would see this figure. The three of you all just kind of like, who do you read? And, and I rolled a thing here. Okay. Okay. So you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh. Um, but <laughs> okay. you are, um, you, you all see this woman just like wandering uh, through the jungle here. Um, sort of like almost transfixed, like yes, carrying this this shield and sword, but just sort of like wandering, like kind of absentmindedly mm -hmm. towards this this flower in this jungle. This fig this figure it's is like yeah, this like giant flower that's just kind of like there. And you start to see it as she gets closer to it, it starts to unfold a little bit. 
they're just wandering sort of towards it. Um, are there other of these flowers? Just one. It looks like there's just one kind of big one there. And it doesn't have an impact on anyone else. Not you. You guys are all. You're probably like almost 100 feet away from it. And is this like across the pool, like across the the pond? So the pool was like in another area. Resin okay. kind of found another place to camp. Okay. That was like not oh, not oh, okay. not in the immediately area, but like just kind of like maybe you know 200 feet away or something. I understand. Yeah. Okay. There, there is one other thing on this figure that uh -huh. you might you might be catching as you see this person approaching this flower bloom. The the two suns, there's light reflecting down into this jewel of some kind. There's something on this woman's neck. It's like an amethyst stone crystal looking thing. And it, maybe there are little shimmers of it that bounce mm -hmm. off and you're like, oh, that's beautiful. Maybe. You might see that. Ooh, do you guys see this person? I see a little person, small. Like kind of like a future pop star, it's right? Like a human bob. It just has like very this, human bob. Like could be an actress Maybe. or a singer. Oh, um, what's going on? Or and why she look? Why she look? She looks high. Yeah, <laughs> she's um, like it's like caught like. She's communicating with the flower. This plant. I feel like we're getting a sense of danger. Ahead of you, this plant starts to like open up a little yeah, bit. Okay. And with that, you got a 19 or you got a, you got a 20. You got a 19. You got a 19? Yeah. Both of you see at the very edges of this plant look almost like like jagged like teeth marks. Whoa. As this plant starts to open up a little bit as as this person's getting closer to it. Um, I kind of want to cut this flower in half. I kind of, is it going to eat her or is it going to say something? What do you mean eat her? I what, a flower eat? Yes. Why do you say that? Magic. I can't tell if it's a good thing or a bad thing the way it, she she's kind of moving in a I way. I feel like the flower has a hold of her. Let's go closer to the What do you flower. see? Let's go you see this too? Oh my, oh, it's got teeth. It's like, this one is just walking well, closer and closer to this she, plant. She, the plant's starting the, to open up. I don't want to uh, watch a little girl get eaten by a flower. Wait, she's a little girl? How old is she? <laughs> Um, we no. don't know. What is like mid -20s, here? There's mid -20s, two sons. Right? Okay, time to say she looks seven or forty. So I just want to make sure that we don't forget about a kid. She just looks small. That's all I meant. Uh, I'm an old man. Okay, Are you I guys run towards the flower. Okay, and I'm going to chop yes. this flower's head off. Okay. <laughs> Be you, which is stealthy. I call out. Uh, she, I mean, I get my broadsword and I, okay. I call out. Uh, hello, we. Hello. Shh. Uh, doesn't, so he uh, doesn't seem to respond. Uh, He's in a, some kind of trance. Uh, hello. We mean you no harm. Ooh. She's oh. high. I told you she's high. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to chop that flower off. Okay. We got to stop the flower. Mm. Then in this case, I do need you, 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 and you to roll initiative. Oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> okay. Just roll that nipples. <laughs> <laughs> it's in here. Right uh, there. So okay. Eight. It's whatever eight. that is. Okay. Okay. Uh, 11. Is that a nine there. plus what? Zero? Yeah. Okay. Because it's right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mine is a nine. It okay. helps to know right now. Yep. Okay. 22. 22. Um, kind of a waste of a really high one. Okay. Um, so. I'd rather use an option. Uh, so you're first to respond to this. Uh, Resonant is already like running down there, mm -hmm. but you are first to kind of react. Like, so Resonant will be closer when we when we come to your turn. Okay, mm -hmm. but you're there and you're kind of quick to react to this. Um, what do you do? Well, I've got a dagger or a short. This is probably just outside of medium range here. Oh, oh so yeah. far. Mm -hmm. huh. Um, uh, I'm I'm shouting at her still, like, hey, 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 listen, listen. Walk away. Get away. Uh, give me just a flat charisma check. Flat? Yeah. Where's a spray <laughs> bottle when you need one? Fifteen? Fifteen? Okay. Uh, what you, you're just shouting like, hey, hey, wake up. Hey, lady, lady, lady. Okay. I don't want the faces to stop, so I'm debating whether or not I actually want to stop this flower. Uh, <laughs> the face, yeah. Do you have the, the camera, camera very please? Good. <laughs> Chat loves the faces. Chat's been going wild for the faces. Uh, uh, lady, lady, so lady, are you moving lady, at all, or are you just staying out there? No, I'm running towards. Okay, so you're running towards the plant or towards this person? Ooh. Um. 
Towards the person. Okay. Um, got it. Diana, what are you doing? Uh, where am I in proximity? Uh, how many how many uh, kind of feet up. am I from the flower? Um, probably about fifty or sixty. Oh. Oh, um, <laughs> how far is the flower opened up at this point? About halfway. Do I see anything? Do I see like something that resembles besides teeth, like a tongue or a like a throat or a hole or a? You gotta. Um. Yeah, I would say it looks <laughs> like there's some kind of like, in like it could in like an like, esophagus. Uh, yeah, like, like a alien. But she's our man. Like a what? <laughs> a clit slit? Is that what you said? Oh man, you're I, asleep. And you're I asleep. said it, and I just said that. And people heard it out loud. All the of us here, it. and the chat loved it. You don't know that. Yeah, you don't know that. Yeah, they love it. Oh. Where can you see the? There, you I know. know. You I've know. Got you my, feel it. Is yeah. it from the algae? Okay. Yeah. The, um, the compass is going wild. <laughs> <laughs> I um. I mean, all I can do at this point. I mean, I don't know if a mana is. We need mana yet, but I um. I get my blow dart and I try to hit uh, the uh, through the esophagus. I try to shoot. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Cool. And that's that is cool. that's still my twenty, right, for attack? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sixteen. Plus two. Wait. Nope. Yeah, right? Is it a plus dex, dex yeah. and plus proficiency? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so five. Five plus 16. Uh, 21. So 21. Yeah, that hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. That's also this, right? No, yeah. it's that's awesome. on your card. I don't know. For the, there's a card for your. Uh, <laughs> There's a card. That one. Yeah. yeah. I feel like awesome. a baby when like an adult is playing with it. <laughs> and I'm just loving it. I'm like, yeah, it's like right? a baby one playing with another talk. baby. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Three. Uh, plus dex. Plus dex. So five. Five points of damage. Cool. Nice. Are you are you gonna use empowered strike or anything? I'm just gonna leave it hanging. <laughs> I want to Oh my god! You. I didn't know. <laughs> Perhaps I used to sing in the middle, yeah. I was listening I to the I like DM. having friends in a team. <laughs> uh, are you just doing the five points damage, or do you want to do like an empowered strike? Oh. If I empower, I lose a mana. Mm-hmm. And you roll 2d6, and you do that much damage. Extra. Uh, not yet. Okay. I just want to see what this happens, what this does. Cool. So yeah, the dart just kind of like sticks in this thing, and like it still seems like it's going. It still doesn't seem to be uh, phased by that too much, but it, it is still <laughs> acting. Wait, it, it's not phased much? Not from five points damage, no. Does it make any sounds? Give me something. It's a plant. Plants Plants sometimes make sounds. Mm-hmm. There's no electrodes attached to it <laughs> currently. No. There are plants like if they like they like can pop. Also, rhubarb pops. Rhubarb makes a sound when rhubarb robes at night. Is this like rhubarb? Hmm. What's happening? The, the description sounded like little shop of horrors. Yeah, so I know. Yeah. 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 Do you know one day a little top of horse would be amazing? Yeah. (laughs) What do we call? Um, That would be so good. So it is your turn now. Is my trance still in happening? You are, let's see. Did you you trap in there? No. So you are basically charmed by this thing. Oh. Um, But, uh, so you're just kind of moving towards it and uh, you, yeah, and you're basically moving towards this thing. You get like closer. Uh, they're probably only about 10 or 15 feet from this thing at this point. Um, you're kind of getting close up to it now, mm-hmm. but at the end of your turn, which is now, so yeah. uh, go ahead and give me another, give me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. So, um, oh, nat 20. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Wisdom oh, saving throw. That's a modifier. That's a zero. Cool. Wow, wow. So, you just come to suddenly. Uh, oh, uh, and uh, you can feel like a little bit of pollen kind of on your face, and there's just this giant, beautiful plant in front of you, but dangerous, dangerous plant. Uh, um, and then, with like, <laughs> teeth and stuff just kind of opening up on you, and then you just hear some a man being like, "Hey, lady, lady!" Uh, 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 <laughs> That's a great uh, okay, impression. okay, incredible. <laughs> wow, wow, yes. Hey, and there's like another, there's like an elf woman just like Naruto running up. <laughs> to, 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 you know. um, the people, the people. 
These are the people. And that's your turn. Uh, that's <laughs> your turn. Oh, wow. I, uh, I'm still running towards it, so I'm, uh, uh, well, uh, how do I use my mana? I just, like, say what I want to do? Yeah, you just say it. It's okay, I want to use if, if you the, um, the Empowered Strike. So it's when you hit. Okay, so let's see if I hit first. It's so. like you're dead in hitting it. Got Think it. it that way. So, um, and that's for a ranged weapon, right? Uh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to use my Flintlock from where I am and try and shoot right into this uh, frog's okay. head. 19. Oh uh, my lord. This plus, golden die is so great. Yeah. Um, uh, 22. 22 hits. Okay, great. Um, oh, so then hits. the way that I do that is I do my normal damage and then add 2d6. Correct. Okay, so second. Yeah, watch out, flower. <laughs> 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 I'm upset with you still. <laughs> okay, so I got six on my normal damage. And okay. then I got, okay, so I rolled a six. And then uh, this on the yeah. and then I rolled a three, so six, seven, eight. Nine. Do I add anything to those as well? No. Okay, so six. Uh, so I add nine. So nine plus six. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, so yeah, you just run up, <clears throat> marked on a bullet, and then when that bullet hits, kind of like what you remember, like what Kurt had told you, and it just feels like a, a natural thing to do. And now that you understand, like, oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as this thing, this shot hits, you kind of like mentally release that, and it just sort of like pff, follows your your intention there, and just pff, explodes kind of at this thing. Wow! The, it does a quite a bit of damage to this thing, and it lurches a little bit, uh, but it still seems. Uh, it's still on the on the attack. Is there like pollen flying everywhere that we have to be careful of? Um, not at this pollen? moment. Okay. Not at this moment. Well, I'm I'm freaked out about pollen because resident has bad allergies, so I'm even sure of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. The shuttle is bad. <laughs> Let's see. So you you shot it from afar, right? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Um. Yeah. It it can't do anything right now, actually. Uh, uh, but. I do want to yell, who are you? I would say, we'll come to this in your turn in a second, <laughs> but uh, Helmer, so you're still up here, kind of on this like hill, right? Mm. Oh, yeah, I was you running move? towards. You were running towards her. Yeah, right? her, yeah. Uh, towards her. Um, so, yeah, uh, you're probably getting up close and I'd be like, hey lady, running over mm -hmm. to, to them. And, uh, <laughs> okay, hey, let's pull up with your uh, <laughs> impression. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's a little offensive. <laughs> hey, lady. <laughs> hey, lady. Hey, lady. I'm an old man. It is. It is. It is. like a Mick Jagger weird vibe. <laughs> and it's hard not to slide into Nando immediately. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, um, yeah. There is a lot of Nan Nandor. Nandor. Nandor, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I so you're, you're running. <laughs> You're running up uh, to this figure. Um, what do you do? Um, has she come awake now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, what? Whoa, whoa! Where'd you come from? Where did I come from? Where did you come from? I, I, I I've Wait. seen you. Where? What? Helmer, give me a history <laughs> check real quick. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. This person looks familiar. Whoa. Um do you, I... maybe you know them, maybe okay. they're a celebrity of some kind. <gasps> You've seen me, you look familiar too. Wait, wait. <laughs> you were on were you on the Star Tracer? Yes. Oh god. I was on the Star Tracer. Okay. Whew. I, f I feel a lot calmer now. Just and you woke to up say. here? Just real quick to pause, because uh, we are technically an initiative, but it seems like as long as you guys don't, and you guys can, you can probably deduce this, and you're conduced to deduce this, as long as you're not getting near enough to this thing where it can lash out, you can see it kind of lashing out. Oh. It doesn't seem to be able, like a real threat here. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. If you want, we can be out of initiative. Yeah. And you guys can just do your clearance. Let's be out. Let's be out. Let's okay. be out. Hey, so stay, stay away from those flowers. <laughs> I don't know how it got. How do you remember how you got into that? I have to be honest. I do not remember. Okay, because you were pretty high. Yes, I. I was confident that nothing bad would happen. Um, but whatever, you know. Thank goodness you came through. 
Oh, please, I, you know. I appreciate it so much. So. May I introduce myself? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. My name is Friday. And then it clicks. You guys, this person is a, this person's kind of famous. <gasps> Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday. The Friday. But it, it, you don't have to make it like weird. I know. I, I start I'm... kissing her feet. I, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> As you all already know, I'm, I'm basically like everyone's best friend, you know, like that's who I am to people. Mm. It's like, it's like, you know me, <laughs> you know, you, you follow me and I, I check in with you and I love you so much. I could not do anything without you. And I promote confidence, inspiration, hope, wellness, and hope heals. While I'm down there, I steal <laughs> um, her shoelaces. <laughs> Give me a slide of hand check. Do you slide have shoelaces? <laughs> um, something I could take. It's not something from... that you have listed. It's, just I mean, I it's not something that I have, I have listed. Do you think but... you would be wearing shoes with shoelaces? What would be something on your feet? that I Do you have like toe rings? Mm, yeah. um, I don't think you're barefoot, right? Or that's toe up toe to you. Right? No. I, oh, sorry. You know what? You know what? Yeah. What kind of shoes are you wearing? <laughs> you there, wearing shoelaces? There is. I, sorry. I, I was just sort of like thinking about fashion and like the fit check. You know what I mean? And I do have decorative laces that's on. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. They're there. Feel free. Because you know what's mine is yours. And what's that's, yours is mine. And... Well, you don't know that this is happening. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I got uh, She is a thief. I got she a says she's not a thief, but she is a thief. Oh, I got a 20. You got a 20. Oh yeah, I got 16. Uh, oh, yeah, I have your passive perception here. You you do not notice this. Okay, here we go. Wow, Resnan, you're really into it. You don't see it. You don't, oh, yeah. Oh, I think, Diana, how does Diana feel Diana about Thomas. Friday? <laughs> Um, it's, a, it's up to you how you feel. Would I'll you say Friday on the ship? Probably somebody, yeah. Somebody yeah. that like people are like really interested in like hearing them talk and like uh, usually, you know, gets up on a stage and like just talks about stories of inspiration. It's kind of like an inspirational speaker type of person. Oh, oh, like is Friday's name. pronouns? Uh... Oh, yes. Um, Friday's pronouns are she, her. Okay. okay. And I understand apprehension. I do. I really do because there is pain in the world and there is darkness in the world. And I've been through so much in my life and I'm really happy to open up and talk about that anytime if that would help you connect. Oh, wow. Let's get you back to our party because we have some people sleeping right now, but we should figure out a little bit more about you. We'll connect. Okay. <sighs> um, why don't you walk ahead? Okay. Great. Saunter, saunter. So, what the fuck is this bitch all about? She's like a Tony Robbins. Who's that? It's 1920. I know. It's like... In a, a different world. <laughs> she's really just like, there is no wrong, uh, only rights. And Damn. like, if there's a problem, it can be the beginning of a solution. Uh, it's you really... kind of not into it. I, she's really... Yeah. I'm just saying it's it's a nice breath of fresh air to have someone so forthcoming about their backstory. Are we sure that's her backstory? I just story? feel like I could trust her a little bit more. Look, I we've hired her because people lose it. Obviously, you all did just now. I saw that. What? Uh, I kept my cool. You should not. <laughs> you mean when I heard voices that said kill and take everything? No, I mean when you saw her. You recognized, and I saw you. I saw you light up. I've I never seen that before. I recognized. I recognized. I was surprised. No, I was in a surprising up. state of mind, but I wasn't excited. I'm gonna say I she's don't buy a positive that. person, and that's always a good thing to have around. I Do we don't just... know her well. Okay, but I've you... seen her at parties. She is trending. Okay. So trending. we like her for now, but maybe she not trends. forever. Earth is trending. She, um, uh, <laughs> she's in the zeitgeist. People know her name. People want. She could start the movements. Zeitgeist. <laughs> People like her. Popular. Okay. So you guys kind of okay. like have this conversation. But as I'm you. just a little. I just keep just keep going up ahead. What? <laughs> okay, I'll just do a quick. 1920s style hit workout. <laughs> She's like really fit. She's working out in the middle. Oh, okay. Like, I feel like I'm on the brink of exhaustion and she's just like falling out of flowers so and dancing. I don't know. But, the, but then she almost let a flower trick her. 
You know what I mean? She's dumb. I don't know. I just don't know. We don't know. We need to know a little bit more about what happened to her when we all started losing gravity in the old world. Do you think that Kurt or Angus would know who she is? Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the group and see. I will say this. We cannot afford any extra dead weight. So as soon as she starts to show that she cannot pull her weight, we cut her loose. I agree. I'm just saying. Uh, Is is Friday human? Just... Uh, yeah, yeah okay. I'm just a, I'm just a fit human. <laughs> I'm human, you, and I. Be he asked if you were human. That could be above table because dead weight. Yeah, you entire sleep. That's like Chris yeah. asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I like that you just said it out loud. I'm a human to whom it may concern. To whom it may Nice affirmation. It's uh, yeah. Let's just um. I, I, uh, right now, she's a friend from uh, a distance. Yes. But we keep her close. So you walk but up and you from see. From a distance, we keep her close. You <laughs> kind of walk up to the. You, you can, they point it kind of pointed out the camp, uh, this like makeshift camp, and you see there is a um, very tall man. Um, you want to describe you? You are sleeping, but this is what. She would see you while you were mm, sleeping. Yeah. Uh, six, eight. Mm. Oh, don't forget dark. that, Friday. Mm. Six, eight. Mm. Uh, Dark skin uh, oh. has braids huh. and braids in his beard as well, similar to a uh, Idris Elba in Thor. Uh, and uh, he's he's, an uh, elf, right? he's a dwarf. Mm. He's a dwarf. Interesting. Look like, the braids are red. The braids are are red, and he's he's a dwarf. And actually, yeah, you go too, and then just so you guys so you know where everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh sure sure sure. Yeah. Um, mm. um, so uh, I am a like lilac half uh, or half tiefling. Did I say that right? Mm-hmm. Great. And I have um, I like little. Ho- I have horns and like long hair that kind of like wraps around with it. Uh, it's like really nice hair too. You know, it's like it's faring okay in the humidity. Um, and then I have uh, little uh, little things that pop out. And um, is that it? Oh, and I have glowing green eyes that are. Oh. You know, I mean, and a chef's love. hat. Yeah, and a chef's hat. hat. Love. Yeah. So I, you know, I mean, I, ha- I have some. I-, I can turn some looks too. I don't need Mana. <laughs> just FYI, I have striking violet eyes, and I just I feel like connected immediately with you. So I'm just saying, just saying. I think you will the moment Zeith opens her eyes because yeah. right now she's <laughs> I'm like, sleeping. But, uh, yeah. Are you describing um, all of our character's looks? Yeah, just so sure. uh, Lorraine knows. Yeah, yeah so my, uh, my character's name is Resnan, and I am a elf rogue, and I look like a girl Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. Um, so kind of hot topic, you know, fingers, gloves. Um, nice. Yeah. Great. Um, I'm Diana Varco, which you know. Um, I am tiny. I uh, am a uh, big blonde hair that is not faring well at all in this humidity. <laughs> I am flo- it's flopped over. Uh, but she tries to put it in a braid because perfection is important, and she knows that she does have a backup plan for humidity conditions. Humidity conditions. Um, she is kind of wearing a dress, but with pants, um, backpack. Um, one eye is brown and one eye is blue. She has some yeah. elvish background in her, but mostly human. Hmm, I forgot that. I'm yeah. um, Helmer. He's like a human, mid 60s, uh, cranky, uh, silver haired with a big scar. Uh, could look like Steve Buscemi or okay. Gary Oldman oh. <laughs> uh, in like a leather um, armored jacket. Cool. And he has a, a large uh, gun called a blunderbuss. Damn. Um, soft, spectacles. Soft, soft puffy nipples. Um, yep. Debatable yeah. whether or not they are soft and it if might they be the are humidity. Puffy. Yeah, I can't wait to but learn your mana. secret. If it's not just we'll natural, see. you know. We'll take some mana and get those nips rock hard. Mm. <laughs> we have not had a whole nipple scene. Yet, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jen started it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That's how it was affecting me. I don't know. I'm sleeping and I can't sleep on my I can't sleep on my belly right now because the nipples are so hard. <laughs> they just like hold you up like yeah, a like, like a prop. Good, so I have to sleep on my back. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Is it almost breaked? Yes. I want to do one thing before we do okay. that, though. Um, okay. So do you guys all kind of just like 
come back here to camp and crash? We, yeah, we just pointed out who everybody is to her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you? Oh, and Kurt. Uh, Kurt. And oh yeah. Yeah. You guys oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Kurt is asleep. Kurt. Um, oh. He <laughs> is. Asleep. He's a human man. Uh, <laughs> he's got kind of pale skin. He's got brown hair. What is um, he looks like? What does Kurt look like? He looks like um, Matthew McFadden in Succession. Tom he Tom is Tom Wamsgams, oh. basically. Oh. I was picturing more of like a microwave Ryan Seacrest, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was picturing um, Kirk from Gilmore Girls. Okay. Um, Ooh. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I, I was. That. What did I see for Kirk? Kirk from um, Gilmore Girls. That shouldn't go. Yeah, the guy, the, and, yeah, never mind. Uh, never mind. It's <laughs> and too, then, too deep cut. Uh, Angus is like half air elemental, so he's got kind of like silvery blue kind of skin. He's an older man. Um, he's got kind of a wispy hair. His spectacles probably folded up on his chest right now, sleeping. Oh, um, I love that. Yeah, so he's asleep cute. on my chest. He's so asleep on his chest. Yeah. Like a like a like a corgi. Yeah, and we're very, all, very small. We all stay asleep. We we don't wake up when they arrive. No. Uh, unless you want to. Well, no, I can always. I'll, I'll get as much sleep as I can yeah. since I'm in the danger zone. Yeah. Oh, sorry, really quick technical question, but when we use our mana, do we stay poisoned until? Uh, or does it go away when we use it? Because it's out of our body. I think it. Yeah, it should go. It should. It should flee. No, actually, because then that would be. I think you would stay until you finish a long rest. You were poisoned by the. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to think like through because if you could abuse it otherwise, yeah. Um, uh, everybody want to sleep? I'm going to. Or sleep. switching watch? Are you guys trading watches? Yeah, it's my turn to sleep for sure. Okay. How are you on food? Pretty damn good, <laughs> I have to say. What have you been I, eating? I'm so glad that you asked. This island has so many wonderful resources. You just have to know where to look. It took me a little bit of time, or I'm in the process of searching and foraging and finding things, but there's this amazing Algae. I'm wondering if you have all have you been found eating the algae. Tons. Oh, <laughs> a lot of okay. it. Okay. And it's... you're feeling. How are you? And you feel it's sustaining you. Yeah. I'm on the top of my game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is it okay to say all this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say whatever you like. Okay. Um, yeah. So. I... So yeah. So um. You I... know. Are you, sorry, is there a particular kind of vegetation that you're looking for, or a tree nut, or a fruit? Um, <laughs> anything kind of like that, I'd be more than happy to find and help you find and prepare, maybe blend into a smoothie, or a paste, or even a balm. I'm hearing all of this, and I'm kind of coming awake, I'm like, oh my god, I think... I think I'm dying because I, I hear Friday <laughs> talk about cooking these delicious little. Is this like, is this heaven? Are you guys here? I think I'm dead. Friday's like cooking up a bunch of amazing stuff. And I just pass out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Friday, we wanted to be here for you. We're so happy to have found you. Um, we're going to continue to rest because our team has kind of had a really hard, hard go of it, unlike yourself. Um, <laughs> what, um, or maybe you have, and yeah, you've used okay. it. You've used it, Thank unlike you. us. We we don't know how to process our, our, our trauma. There's a lot to me. There are lots of layers, and <laughs> okay. you're going to get to know that. Um, on, <laughs> like on the surface, you might see me and you might think, oh, she has it so easy. She, everything's just, her life is so perfect. But let me tell you, like, I was on the star tracer and yes, and yes. stuff was going yeah. okay you know well, what's okay well you know it's like people like they they like you know when you're like at a big party with like of course like fancy mm -hmm. people and All stuff the time. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they seem like they want you there yeah. and they seem like cool to hang with but they don't want to get real. They don't want to get like they don't want to talk on like a real level. They don't want to. Mm. They don't want to like talk about your interests, what you've been mm. through, the pains of the world. There's so much just desperation and devastation all around us. And and after the whole thing that happened, the whatever the event was, it was it was. It's hard for me to even explain. Well, wait, just real quick. It's I really hard for me to like int un interpret. Oh, what well, do you hard. remember? The last thing you remembered in the other. It was like storm. It was like storm. There was like a big storm. Okay. Sh shaking, shaking, shaking. 
Mm, there was she, no, she, there was like no rules to anything any, anymore. There was like no, this is scary to talk about, but there was like no gravity. It's just like, whoosh, just like, and, and I just woke up on this island all by myself, all by myself. All by yourself. Imagine that. Imagine being so alone and from nothing, having to create something. Mm. I and woke that, up with a cat. Have you seen a cat? Hmm, not lately. There are some... About yay tall. I'm going to keep my eye Sometimes out for this weeping. cat. Because I would like to know this cat. I would like to meet this cat and protect this cat. Yeah. Well, we because are looking Because there are some dangers. Them. There are some dangers on this we know that. island. You've there seen. are. And you've got in a way on your own, which is an, unreal. The amulet, was that something you had in the past world? I found it here. I had it all along. Oh. I found it in my life. That's what I mean. It's hard sometimes for me because I'm a little bit, things can be a little nonlinear because mm. I'm a little tiny bit psychic. That's what I meant to tell you before is that I've seen you. I've seen flashes of something oh. that I now believe is you. Oh. What do you mean? It's hard. It's spotty. It's like, I don't control when? it. Uh, earlier today, <laughs> this oh. morning, I was, I woke up from a, before I woke up for the day, there were these just like, it was like a dream, like montage of people. Anyhow, we don't need to get into all that right now. All I want you to know is that there are dangers on this island and we're going to just have to stick together as long as we have hope. We're going to get through this thing called life. <laughs> no together. offense, but like, how do we know that you're not one of the dangers on this island? I do take offense to that, actually. I do take offense to that, actually. Oh, no. I feel but like you have to understand. Uh, we just don't, we, we want to keep our guard up. We're, we're, we are, we, we've come at it's long through a lot been as well. A, an unpredictable. And we did just save your life time. a little bit. So and I feel like. If food. you know Palvo at all, they really like. Palvo. Palvo, they, sorry, I get all my staff mixed mm. up. They uh, really took a turn when okay. they got to the new world. So we're just- and, The and chief that, of security okay. on the Star Tracer. Yeah. People okay. that we thought she she would be our friends are not. Intense. So we like, have to be careful. Okay. That's why we ask. We don't ask because we're assuming or anything. Just it's um, from our, we're asking because of our past trauma. Okay. Respectfully. I feel like I was being really open and vulnerable with you all. I feel that I shared a lot, mostly for your benefit. You but, did. But now that, Respectfully, shots have been fired. And I am just going to be a little bit quieter. No. I'm just going to be a, just a little bit quieter. Maybe maybe we'll find our way back. And, and may, I, we will. We Maybe, perhaps, we will. We. It's yeah. best not to take too much personally. But I'm a little frightened. I feel like you're being, like, really defensive. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um, Maybe I'm just tired and I just am being a little crabby. This is the weirdest dream I've ever had. And I might be, I might be super like um, on some funky level from the charm. From so, so many algae blooms. Mm. I've had blooms? so many. You had blooms. Are you poisoned? Not she poisoned. She doesn't seem poisoned. She seems quite healthy. She seems like she's on. I just know that I'm poisoned, so just I guess you have you have the ability to have mana, and I don't. Mama, Dada. <laughs> oh no! Uh, what if his? Oh, uh, we we should all go to sleep. Wait, Angus, uh, Angus instinctively reaches his hand up, like still asleep, and uh, puts his hand on your on your cheek. <laughs> is um are uh, are we all sleeping? No, someone needs to stay up. Um, I should sleep because I'm poisoned. I'm not sure should. if anyone else is. I'll here. stay up. I'll okay. sleep, but uh, you sure. The, just to keep things kind of like moving a little bit, you guys can stay up a little bit and then um, wake up some of the others after it's been like six hours or so, okay. and then they can finish the rest. Okay. Yeah, or you can do it in chain, whatever. Once uh, I said six hours, let me know and I'll I'll take her. Okay. No, no, I lied. I want his. Wake him up. I'll wake him. I'll wake him up in in, in another uh, forty five minutes. Okay. <laughs> You guys could also do it in, in like singles or doubles or something like that, and it could be shorter, but whatever, we can okay. math that later. You can also rest as long as you like. I'm feeling very alert, and I feel like we could be getting to know each other better while you sleep. 
So that is if you Thank trust you. me. If Friday, you trust me. Friday, you are a godsend. Thank you so much for coming. Um, really, really, uh, we're very lucky that we saved you from the flower. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're very lucky. Thank you. Um, yes. Thank you. Please stay up with Helmer. He's fantastic company. Okay. Oh, I'm staying up too. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've decided. Um, okay. Yeah. Just, just tap me. Okay, okay Diana, let's go to sleep. Me. Okay. Um. Guntar. Yeah. Yes. Please. Hmm. Your turn. What? You're gonna stay awake. Oh. And we have a new friend. Oh. Hey, hey. Guntar. Do you know what? What? She's over there. She, okay. Yeah, I'm, Angus. I'm, I'm close to her. Angus also wakes up on your chest and it's all like his face is all sweaty. Oh, he's all matted. Angus, you were slobbering on me. <sighs> and he just rolls over, still <sighs> exhausted. Okay, let me. Still tired. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> We have a we have a new a new person. Oh hello. Hello. I'm Guntar. You are something. The great. Um hi, my hello. name is Friday. Friday. I'm new to this crew. Mm. But um I'm just really happy to be making everyone's acquaintance. Wow. Especially yours. That's very nice. <laughs> she was in danger. We saved her. Oh, good job, Helmer. <laughs> uh, I, should, I think it was Diana who really. Oh, good job, I mean, Diana. I kind of off, uh, resonant. Yeah. Sure. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. <laughs> I mean, I did some damage, but we all we all knew it was maybe a wow. threat. And um, Friday um, came from the ship. Wow. Did you do you are, do you know about the popularity of Friday in in our old world? No. No. The best but you seem week? very nice. <laughs> Thank you. And. Don't let the hype get in the way of just getting to know me. Mm -hmm. Easy breezy, you know, just let's just have an authentic, genuine connection. Um, and you look extremely healthy and yes. like you know a thing or two about fitness. I do. And so I just think that we're going to get along. Wow. That's all. right. I'm really happy Friday's here. Yeah. Well, Thank God it's, it's Friday. Thank uh, God it's Friday. <laughs> is she gonna get a dice because she said that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she give asleep. back my dice because I said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'm taking rest, but if anything happens, please, please wake me. Same. Mm -hmm. I won't wake you. What the and fuck? I will wake you. Oh. You're already asleep. <laughs> but also like- But like, I like just got to I know that we're all very excited, <laughs> but um, I think the quieter we can be and blend in, the better, even we don't know what's watching. I'm very easy for me to be quiet. Okay. Have I told you about Dwarven songs? Oh boy. I would love to hear about I Dwarven songs. Like, this is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, okay. So while you're kind of here at camp, uh, it's the three of you. So Helmer, Friday, Guntar. Is there anything you guys are talking about or doing here? It's, it's still kind of like midday. Or I guess it'd be kind of coming into evening a little bit since some hours have passed. Okay. Um, so, Guntar, um, Friday told us that she has psychic powers a couple minutes ago. Uh, she can see visions. I just wanted to put that out there. Into the future or into the past? The future. That's an incredible question, Guntar. Thank you. And to be completely honest with you, Helmer, I'm not entirely sure. Wow. It's future because you saw us in a vision once. before you saw us. You saw that once. I Future is included for sure. Okay. You all helped me confirm that. But who knows? Maybe I'm also getting flickers of the past. It's hard to say. But, it's but, hard to say, Helmer. But one thing I do know is yes, I've seen visions of people um people who are who, who are uh like affluent doing well um happy and and then demise pain um oh mm -hmm. darkness mm. is this something that is resonating with you all or is that this sounds just something like life. That... <laughs> period <laughs> okay uh, all around <laughs> helmer i hear you it's been my life my experience that just sounds like existence. Oh God! I hear you. The existence of pain and cruelty. Mm -hmm. In your head. Predator and prey. 
your head starts to feel really heavy. Like you're just aware of being like up for like almost 40 hours now. Oh God. And that's, that's just I, Helmer. life is cool and you're either- Do you need to take a nap? Pray. I'm fine. Helmer, no matter what, I'm holding space for this. I'm fine. <laughs> I am. I'm just gonna put my head on my fist. Aw, that's mm. really sweet. Do you do you think you fall asleep? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Would would you, the two of you wake him up? No, he's fine. I think that let him rest. We got this. Keeping watch. That is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. So I, I I would like to let him rest. Yes. Okay. Helmer, give me a perception check. Oh what? boy. Scary. Oh God. Why'd you do that? Helmer gives a sleepy perception check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll make sense. <clears throat> what is that? That's not, not. Oh. oh. Wait, it was here. It's an, it was a nine, but it's a, uh... where is that damn thing? I had it. It's in the it's in the wisdom stack. Mm hmm You have an A. Um That's if you want to use that now. One uh you wouldn't be able to use actually you could probably. It's it's um it was a nine, so it would be an eight. An eight. Got it. Damn. Okay. You drift off to sleep. Your mind wanders, and maybe it's been the experience of the past day, days, uh this time has passed, but your mind wanders back towards memories of the war. Um, you remember that you were fighting the Grailish forces during their occupations um, in the mountainous homelands, or in your mountainous homelands of Verbestad. Uh, since the treaty was signed, the uh, Verbestadi uh, resistance had found no support from their previous invaders, the Cetrenans. Um, because the first uh, Verbistad was colonized by Citrana, and then later on it was colonized by the Agrelish. And most of the war you fought in was against the Agrelish. Mm -hmm. um, you remember this time where, um, you know, fighting these Agrelish shoulders, they were they were they're sort of they were typified by their sort of unswerving religious zeal to their like two twin deities, like the it's like male deity and his female deity. Um, and like the sun and the moon. And that kind of, their sheer numbers and their, their sort of unrelenting like faith made them difficult to fight. Mm -hmm. Unlike the Citrans who were usually relied on uh, technological advancement. Um, so you and a troop of, of you and two other guys uh, named Jonathan and Torsten, um, you were on the run and you remember that you had taken uh, refuge in an old abandoned mine um, after there was a, this mine had been abandoned after there's a sudden collapse and several miners uh, were crushed. And a lot of the folks here were superstitious about that. And so they kind of keep a wide berth from this mine. But the three of you were like, this seems like a good place to hide um, because no one goes near it. Um, and also two of these guys had found a stash of some liquor and some goods that had been in a cache somewhere and they were looking to like unwind and like have some fun mm -hmm. while trying to like uh, deal with the situation. Mm. Um, so what do you think, what do you think Helmer's approach would have been in that situation? Were we, we were hiding or we were just- You guys were on campaign and you had been a little bit overrun um, and we're trying to meet back up with some other uh, members of your forces until uh -huh. they kind of re resupply but you had been kind of dwindled and the three of you were just kind of like surviving, trying to get back to base. Okay. Uh, and you hold up in a mine, an abandoned mine. Okay. I mean, Helmer would be <clears throat> not, not trying to party it up. If that's what other people are doing, it sounds yeah, like they, someone is. They have like a three, like a like a small case of, of liquor and they're just like un unscored, like, come on Helmer, let's get, let's go take a break. I'm fine. This has been stressful enough. I'd really like to just keep watching get out of here. Well, that's why we need to relax. Come on. And they're like, stop on the back. Like, Come on, let's go. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Ah, uh, soft skin, yeah. Yeah. Come on. There's no one in this war. Come on. Fine, give me a sip. I'll just... All right. Uh, so you, you take a sip of this, and um, how do you think the rest of the night would go? Um, these clowns, you know, get shit faced. <laughs> Uh, you know, Helmer stays, tries to stay alert, tries to stay, uh, close to, like, grounded in the scenario. He's not, he's, he's a little on edge and he's not, you know, laid back, so. Okay. Um, yeah, I think he'd be trying to hold it down and be the person who's got some kind of guard up. Okay. Um, that is what your intentions. The night kind of one winds that way. They do indeed get, like, kind of shmammered, but you kind of, like, you you don't take uh yeah you, you don't take as much as they do you don't drink as much as they do uh -huh. um and you drift off to sleep eventually trying to sleep or keep one eye open a little bit but you with that eight sleeping okay. pretty soundly here in this mine but you do wake up unfortunately you did wait this is in the, in the past you yes. did wake up a little bit too late as and you remember waking up to a muffled, gurgling scream of uh, Jonathan standing over Torsten, covering his mouth and jamming a, a dagger into his throat. Jesus! And looking over at you, um, what would you do in that situation? Uh, oh, oh fuck! Uh, take a, a short. I need you to roll initiative. <laughs> Are you gonna wow. fight in your dream? Wow! Man? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, oh my it's, god! It's a fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, you are able to uh, respond uh, before him. Did I have my dagger? Um, what do you think you would be having here? This is a good question. Oh my god! I mean, I think a dagger is standard for him. That okay, would be there. Um, and I don't know, maybe a different. Uh, a sh different gun than a oh, blunderbuss. Yeah. A flintlock, maybe? Yeah, okay. smaller. Got it. Okay. Um, and also, this would be not you now, so the stats will be a little bit adjusted. Yeah. But we'll figure it out. Um, so, what do you do? You get up and you, you see him just like kill this other soldier that you've been traveling with. There was three of you and he yeah. just knifes him. Um, in, the, in the mouth? In the, like in the throat. Oh, I thought he stuck a knife uh, in his mouth. Oh, cool. That's, 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 that's also bad. That's also really not bad. great, but yeah, like a knife in the mouth. Um, yeah, I, I dagger him in the thigh or the leg. <laughs> okay, so you you were sleeping, so you got to get up and kind of run over to him. Yeah. Um, so go ahead and make an attack roll. Um, this is dexterity. <laughs> okay. 20. Oh hell! Twenty, yeah, that, you definitely hit him. So you, you ran over and just kind of like ran up and like screamed or something. I don't know, and <laughs> I just like slash him in, in his in his leg and catch him in his leg, and he oh. just goes ah, oh, and like kind of like you can tell uh, his leg just kind of like wobbles a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing actual damage for this because it doesn't really matter. Okay, but I think it was actually twenty three. Twenty three cool. still hits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, you <laughs> stab him, okay. and he just kind of like gets a little like oh, his, his leg looks like a little damaged. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so but then he kind of wheels on you and tries to. Uh, he he pulls out this this dagger with like this like uh, polished dark wood and pearl inlay. Um, Pretty. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful dagger. <laughs> what are, would you still have had your armor back then? This armor? Yes. You got silver. Yes. silver. I'm asking you. Like, you can decide. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, so take the armor. Sure. Well, you've been sleeping in it. Uh, yes. He's weird that way. <laughs> he has soft skin. I mean, he was. I think he, he fell asleep you know in the middle of this, right? This is right, right, right. Um, right. So, I guess. Uh, I I didn't imagine him taking it off. Okay. But I, I don't I can't feel how heavy it is actually. Okay. I haven't thought about that. Like so picture like a padded uh -huh. motorcycle jacket, I think is what we always talk about. I think you can sleep in that. Okay. Then yeah, you'd be oh, wearing yeah. that yeah. still. Um so then he does try to strike at you and he just like scratches into your armor uh, and misses. He just maybe you debilitated him somehow. Uh-huh. And he's just like ah, we could split it. Oh, that's what you want? You just want to get, what, get some help? And he's just he's like kind of like wobbling and like like kind of like balancing himself. And he's like, Oh, well, there's no winning this war. The best case is to collect bounty on us and take the money and get out. How about a little warning? I don't know. How do I know you weren't trying to stab me in the throat, you freak? <laughs> Give me an insight check. 
<laughs> She's, now you want to include me in your stupid plan? <laughs> Uh, okay, it's, um... I love when Helmer gets mad. God damn it, it makes me so oh, You stupid happy. little freak. 21. 21. Uh, I would say that that's even with the minus, huh? Yeah. Because um, it's inside <laughs> is uh, expert. Okay. I don't know if you would have had that yet. Okay. So what'd you roll? 16. So 15. Oh my God. Um, okay. Still enough. Yeah. I think you're like, oh yeah, that was his plan. He was going to kill me and I just stabbed him in the leg and now he's trying to like figure out, he's trying to make, he's trying to negotiate here. Yeah. But absolutely he was going to try to collect on you too. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Uh, and he's just like, come on, we can do this together. Come on. Just like old times. That's right. We did have a lot of great old times. <laughs> and he's reaching for his flintlock. Okay. Uh, and uh, and <laughs> he's like, "Hey, why don't you? Why don't you pour us a drink? Let's toast on this deal." Give me a deception check. Oh my god! Shit. But you just stabbed him in the thigh. Yeah, but out okay. of reflex. Sure. Out of you know reflex. Uh, cool, baby. What kind of check is this? Deception. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, uh, okay, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a four. Uh, he's like, sure. And he goes and grabs the bottle. Oh gosh. And then uh -oh. we're kind of still in initiative, but you can tell he's grabbing the bottle. Like, the same way you grab him for your pistol. Do mm -hmm. you shoot him or are you going like, to yeah, shoot him? him. Okay. <laughs> uh, go for it. Make the attack roll. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this guy now, ever sleeps. What, what, where do I stop with these points? Because <laughs> what'd you roll? Because it's out of control. Nineteen. Okay, that definitely hits. Yay! Um, so you just, where were you aiming? His face. Uh, <sighs> that's gonna be dark. Uh, it's a dark cave, and in that flash of of the muzzle flash, yeah. uh, you just it's he's just gone. Um, ended. Sad. Uh, and slops down. And you can also hear that gunshot reverberates through this entire cave. And you hear this like rumbling, like <gasps> um, and you hear from deep within the mine this loud, deep guttural roar. Oh my god. Just <sighs> um, and there's like a, if you look back behind you, you see this like this orange glow <gasps> sort of forming oh, in the distance. Hey, run, run, run. He runs. Okay. Uh, is there an exit? Like, a, Give me an athletics check. Is this a Balrog? Is that what they're called? Balrog? Balrog. From Lord of the Rings? Yes. It's a Balrog. Here comes the Balrog. Uh, Put the Balrog. You said athletics? Oh yep. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. No math. Thirteen. Thirteen. So as you're running from this thing, you you have to like step over the body of like both Torsten and Jonathan, uh, and you're just kind of running through this like. Wait, wait, is there money? Um, would you have stopped? From, okay. Was there money? Sure. Right. That's what the guy wanted to steal. Uh, for clarity, basically they were when when the war was kind of ending, uh, it didn't look hopeful. So a lot of the soldiers were just like turning and like basically collecting bounty on their fellow soldiers to get a payout to then, and then be done with it. Oh, um, oh okay. So they were trying, he was probably trying to collect bounty on you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't So there wasn't like a bag of cash. No. Run. Yeah, so you just <laughs> run full speed and you kind of look back every so often and you just see this like massive serpent just like slithering oh. through this tunnel. Like no. huge, like That's God's awesome. not quite Godzilla, but massive creature. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, and it's like uh, every so often uh, you see it just like when there's like enough of a straightaway, it just like ejects a gout of flame. Oh. Oh, and you can feel it almost like catch you, but you're just running as fast as you can. Wow. and. Oh, as you as you run with that thirteen, not quite enough. Aww. You uh, is there a pebble? You run past and like the coming 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 to the edge of this opening of this mine, you kind of like panic and look for a, a place to to run out, and there really isn't anything. You guys had to climb up here, 
and you missed up boot slides on some soft dirt as this thing is like jumping out of you and you fall out and grab onto uh, whatever you can. And you just kind of land in this rose, like this bush of like thorns that just kind of hangs out and you sort of like get caught in it. And one of it slices you across the forehead, one of the big thorns. And as as that happens, this large, a uh, serpent just b- bar- uh, bursts out of this thing and just like get out of flame, just like angry, barely missing you. And that's where you're gonna wake up next episode. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. From that. No big deal. God. Right. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> cool. Scary. Yeah. Really scary. All right, so we'll be back for uh, part two. Don't be a stranger. (laughs) Don't (laughs) Don't be a stranger.